We do now. I'm just, oh my goodness, there's feathers everywhere. This will be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I had sparkles everywhere last night, so yeah. <laughs> yep. A feather? Somebody let a bird in here? Yes! <laughs> kind of animal right, one. Let's... The best kind. Meow. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, right. Are you a necrom meow, sir? <laughs> Dude. Ooh, Philadelphia's oh been gosh. Uh, split. <laughs> They've called it. Yeah, because it's like when you tell your constituency not to vote by mail, and the other guy's like, "Yeah, vote by mail," because it yeah. you can. Yeah. Wait, Robin, were you here when I was exclaiming that Biden's at two eighty four? No. No, what? Biden's at, Biden. Biden's got it. Biden won. Yes. There's going to be dozens of recounts and maybe a maybe a court case, but, but fuck it. Trump, you you're fired, Mr. Trump. No, I don't want to go. You'll have to pull me kicking and screaming out of here. It's going to be a great tantrum, and the greatest tantrum will. that ever happened. Yeah, yeah no kidding, Fine. right? Let's do it. <laughs> let's let's do it. Like seriously, <laughs> I keep wanting to be like nervous about how the transition of power is going to go, and I I, I am on many fronts. But I keep being like, oh, God, Trump has got the button. And then I remember that the Joint Chiefs of Staff removed his button access on day two. <laughs> <laughs> because they're like, nah. <laughs> nah, not this guy. We are officially live. Sweet. Yep. So we're just on a holding message right now. Oh, <laughs> although we are. Oh, yeah, we're, we're audible. Hello. Oh, that's awesome. Hello, world. Hi. Yeah, Hello. so enjoy my Trump rant. <laughs> we're, but we're we're gonna stay in our own lane. We're not a political channel. Fuck Trump. What? Some of us oh, are. are I don't know if that's a political statement or like a humanitarian one, to be honest. Yeah. Well, he's not the president, so <laughs> I don't think it's political. <laughs> Speaking from the future. Ooh. Uh, anyway, anyway. All right. Uh, time to spam people. <laughs> right. I am on the interwebs. Uh, where did I Welcome do... to getting spammed, nerds. So sad mm. you can never see my red contacts when I wear them. Doot, doot. Wow, those are those are awesome. Oh, yeah, I think it might be the but light. Just... Like, I can send yeah. you a picture, but I have two lights set up that shine directly into my eyes. That's the only have... reason you can see my face. I have a limited amount of stuff over here oh, at the okay. moment, but that's okay. Fair enough. Yeah. 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 Oh, I kind of <laughs> forgot there was a green screen behind me and not actually like up there. <laughs> oh, but the lighting's bad. All right. Do I have enough things prepared for this? I don't know. We'll find out. What's the link? Twitch.tv slash dork tales. T A L E S. Dork tales. Tales of a dork. Yeah. Although this game, we should just have called Dork Tales with. T-A-I-L-S. Yeah. Yeah. They were like, Hell yeah. what have we done? Oh, right. No, we missed, a we missed an opportunity. Great branding opportunity. Oh, no, you know, that's what we'll that's what we'll have to call it when we're when we're live. We'll do we'll do an intro, welcome to Dark Tales, and then we can like wag or something. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if anyone has a tail attached. I don't have a tail attached. I don't have a tail. See if Snapchat that. can give me one. We'll have to find out. We're only recording the face, so no tail. Cool. Damn. Um and then not a butt stream confirmed. Okay. Not a butt stream. <laughs> Why am I even here? <laughs> well, okay, I'll log off then. Sorry. Oh God, I'm looking. This is how Kaylin makes her money. This, this is going to be a mess. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm excited. Peek down. Peek down. Okay. Like so guys, I'll be ready to go in just one sec. I just got to put on my costume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no rush. Uh, that's true. That's who are goal it's, increased. It's it did! Yeah. Okay, can you update live, please? I, this just stuck for me. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, I keep hearing people can hear us. That's fun. There's fun. coffee if you want any. My phone just ate shit. Oh, there we go. I want coffee. No. Mail me coffee. I want coffee. I have coffee. Right? Do you deliver to uh... <laughs> provinces oh. with an N and a B in it? <laughs> <laughs> They're slightly far away. Might be a bit cold when it gets there eventually. I mean, well, I don't know. It depends also, on how it's transported. 
Just fire it over here by railgun. That'll be toasty. <laughs> and vaporized. Yeah. Extra life game three. Welcome. <laughs> just wait. Just wait until you see us. I mean, not me. I don't look that cool. Everyone else looks super cool. <laughs> Yeah, but you have to play the, the role of many. I do, except that every other uh -oh. animal filter I have encountered is deeply cursed. So I may only have this one, which y'all will see I think soon. a fox one, I think. Hmm? I think one of the ones they sent you was a fox one, I can remember. Fox one. I think you sent me the moon, which is extremely terrifying. Oh, you have to do the uh, moon at some point, though, please. The moon is horrible. The moon is the best one. OK, I'm pulling up the moon. <laughs> Oh, people can't see your face. You have to do it. With people I know, can. I know, but I'm gonna. I, I may just leave it on the moon so that when, when we start, jealous. I am a moon. I just love the idea of the moon Hello. narrating. It is <laughs> <It's> I. <so> <laughs> Narration moon. Oh, it looking like forward to that. Zone or something. I'll have to switch back and forth for when when we get into like narration or something. I'll just be like, "End the moon overlooking this situation." Says the following. Step one, be gay. Step two, acquire crimes. Step three, profit. Inevitable, yes. I remember how to get to my camera settings. I am overexposed. Yeah, I'm trying to deal with that one too. My eyes, zoom. my blonde hair is just like glowing right now. Huh? Yeah. So Bryn, I had that this morning too. Zoom keeps turning on the like compensate for low light thing, despite there being lights on my face right now, which is super right? weird. Like, are you yeah, sure so you don't want to be, be grainy that. and overexposed? And I'm yeah. like, what if you wanted to have an angelic halo that overruled anyone's ability to see you? Yeah. Right? Why? What if? It's a dream. <laughs> this is a test. Can I blow my nose without taking my nose off? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I love your ears. Thank you. They're super cute. So, so I guess I, I have a question for you before we start. Are you playing the same character or just an alternate dimension version of the character? I don't know. Are we in the same dimension? I mean, another dimension. Honestly, another last dimension. game the the world sort of ended, but you could be or in a different dimension, having escaped. I could it's be. Free free if if you if you all die horribly, you may again meet a particularly spooky mink who is an attorney at death. We'll have to see. But the guy was great. I mean, if that happens, he can just be like, "Have I met you before?" <laughs> He'll be, be like, like what? weirdly familiar to me. <laughs> you're supposed to be dead. Yeah. Oh well, you get back down there, assuming you roll a seven, eight, or a nine. Yeah. And they'll be like. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to mm -hmm. say. I lost it. I more coffee. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> it was there, and then it was gone. <laughs> it's just oh. poofed. Just poofed. Um, I just got a, uh, I just got a bobby pin in, a, in my coffee. Oh, no. Um, oh, that's an unfortunate start to the morning. That's player that's, uh... problems. I do really <laughs> feel like I'm an advantage over my players, it, it being like one in the afternoon for me. I like did work today. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that would, uh... I had lunch already, and y'all are just like, oh my gosh, what is a morning? <laughs> morning. Oh, okay, cool. I figured out how to control stuff. Oh, look, I can adjust my white balance. What do you think it should be? Pale as fuck. No, let's not do that. Oh, I used up my one square, so I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Nice. Well, that seems legitimate. <laughs> can you talk? Like, <laughs> of course I can talk. <laughs> no one cared who I was until oh I put gosh. on the mask. <laughs> your, your costumes this weekend are just top tier. Top tier. I mean, all of you. I really feel like I'm being completely, completely outdone here. But I'm lazy, so that's fine. Do not mind to be lazy. So are you gonna wear that all game? Yes. Of I am course. so so excited for for all of y'all to see this. CJ, hello. Hey hey, CJ, CJ, you're gonna see my actual non non VR face. All right, should we switch over? I'm gonna send oh, you a little hello. Do we wish to do we wish to switch over? we I guess we're supposed to start pretty soon. We were supposed to start six minutes ago. 
Whatever. What is time? It's, it's a social construct. It's Saturday morning. It's, it's freaking Dungeon World. We don't got to worry about time. It's cool. Are you ready to see some cool stuff? Pull, Pull the, the lever. lever. Pull the lever. <laughs> All right. But first, an opening spiel. Welcome, friends, to Extra Life Day 2. This <laughs> sordid quest takes us into the country of animal adventures, where our game master, Camille, will guide us through a number of twists and turns that you, yes, you, you, the one on the couch listening to this, you can affect how this goes by putting money, yes, mm -hmm. money, into the hands of children who will probably squander it on pathetic things like medical treatments and uh, food. You can do that by going to our channel and typing exclamation mark E-L menu like you are ordering a menu in Spanish. That will give you a list of things you could do. Alternatively, you could just go and throw money at us. <laughs> Find us at extralife.org slash team slash dork tales. By the way, it's tales like stories, not tales and tales. We we missed a branding yeah, we, opportunity. We really missed out on that description <laughs> for this game. But my graphic yep. designer and legal team says that we're not supposed to change the name. And without further ado, here is Animal Adventures. <laughs> so so are we live? Are we doing the camera? We're live. Can see your faces now. Hi. Oh. Hello. It's so wonderful to see all of you. Look at all of our really beautiful nice faces. Start. To your, to your day. Mm -hmm. Welcome to our amazing costumes. Well, and my particularly lazy costume using the power of Snapchat, but uh, the overall amazing costumes. So welcome. Hi, nice to see you all. So, 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 so. For those who are unfamiliar with Dork Tales, I want to talk a little bit about what this game's going to be like. Uh, so sort of similar to Dungeons and Dragons and how it goes, but in how it's played is totally different where so much more of it is improvised. As the person running it, my, my first, first goal is to play to find out what happens. And that is the goal for everyone here too. So this will probably be very silly and I hope it'll be a good time. And I think it's going to be a total, total disaster. The things that I know going in is that there's a heist to happen in a farm casino and we'll see what happens next. Uh, before we start, uh, I want to give each and every one of you a time to ask questions and introduce your characters, but maybe I will give you a little bit of, a little bit of insight on where you're at before. Uh, and Captain Stream M, the, the, the cool Monsieur Donk over there, uh, do we have music for this? Should I be in the, should I be in the thing? Oh, for music? I don't think I have control over the music, but if you wanted to control over the music, I would trust I will you be the DJ. To, to control music. Okay, uh, we yes. should do that. I have, I have invited you all into the rolling of the 20s. Love uh, to roll 20s. A thing that I, I don't get Whew. to do this game. <laughs> right. Copy link address. This is advantage of playing um, Dork Tales. No dice rolling for me. Uh, CJ, everyone. thanks for following the, the Dork Tales team. These are some of Thank my dearest friends. I think you'll, I think you'll like them. None of us are Me, CJ. Do we got we got tunes? We we'll have we got tunes, tunes in a for nerds. We're good to go. Tunes for nerds. Uh, where 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 are we? Uh, why don't we go with something dungeony? All right, this is the astral plane. Sorry, we ended there last night on Sailor Moon. Uh, Ooh, love so to far. plane astrals. Uh, oh, I, I didn't know it was that kind of stream. <laughs> Cannot. <laughs> uh, it's sort of always. Friend, you know what you are getting into. You signed the contract. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do I need a roll twenty account to do this? Yes. Uh, oh, yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't need elevator to... music here in the meantime. Yeah. I am straight up not getting sound from it though. Are you not? I can I can serenade the whole chat. Yeah. I'm getting, I think someone that. should just beatbox. Oh, there we go. It's super quiet for me. That's weird. Oh well, I'll take it. Turn I will. Your, I will choose to imagine that I hear spooky dungeon sounds and that turn your uh, for this. turn your browser volume up. But my browser volume is all the way up. Yeah, I think well, it's I just Windows being, being bad at Windows. Uh, and you, um, you will discover very... very soon who who Henry the Honk is. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Okay. So. Um, 
Let, let's do let's do a quick little intro thing. So each and every one of you wonderful fine furry friends, whether you know each other or not, for some reason decided to attend the famous Casino Corral last night. Maybe you were there to run a con? Maybe you were hoping for an invite to the most famous and deadly game of pig poker in the world, the great game? Or maybe you were just there to say you went or to judge them for their desecration of nature. You never know. Regardless, you remember strongly eating the best cheese plate of your life. Uh, and then things got strange and you find yourself waking up in a, a dank, dark, dungeony room. Everything, including you, smells like cheese now, possibly permanently. And you have none of your equipment, but you are each surrounded by four folks who may be friends, who may be strangers. Why don't we start with a, an introduction, and I'm going to have to go in the order that it is on Zoom, which might be unrelated to how it is on, on the stream. But so, Kelly, you are the first one on Zoom for me. Tell me about yourself. Who are you playing? Uh, so, hello, I'm Kelly. I'm the guy who runs all the games on Dark Tales usually, but I got out of this weekend through a loophole <laughs> in my contract. Uh, tonight, I am playing Henri de Honk, who is a goose, which you can see, <laughs> very goose-like. Um, but he is a worshipper of the sacred fire, which you should listen to and do what it says, because the sacred fire knows what's good for you. The sacred fire. Just putting some notes down here. I'm going to ask you questions flame. before we start, too, about the setting. It's lit, fam! <laughs> it's lit, fam. It's okay. Lit, fam. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's Henry to honk, like spelled yeah. like a goose honking, right? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Uh, next up is is a particularly fan. Oh, I was going to say the person in the most fabulous classes, but now I can't decide. But let's go with Michael next. <laughs> um, hello everyone. I'm Michael. I am playing Jasper Macadamia, the great and powerful <laughs> wizard. In fact, I am so great and powerful. Most people have forgotten that they know me because I'm that powerful. Uh, you're like a household name that's expired. Um, I'm like Macadamias that have gone off. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Um, is there anything particularly distinctive about your spell book? Um, I've got multiple spell books. Most of them uh, range in grade from about coloring books all the way up to, <laughs> to multiple backwards Latin spells in code that I haven't even been able to weave yet. Hey, well, that sounds like a good time. Well, I spent a lot of time uh, weaving. So. Do you have any more questions for wizards before we go? Questions no, for we'll, wizards. We'll get, we'll get more yeah, to you. We'll get down. So my other glasses did, did, did friend, Robin, tell us about Meryl Cheap, the name I will never get over. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Robin and I'm playing Meryl Cheap, the best bard around. You, you've oh, yes. probably heard of me because I'm so amazing. My voice, they say, can, uh, can cure babies. So I'm really glad that I'm here helping out these children because I'll just sing for them and they'll be better. But give me the money instead because I need it to be fabulous. Well, it sounds lot. like you're you're a doctor too. You just sing for them and they're fine. So exactly. That'll, that'll check I'm amazing. Yeah. I'm the best at everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so, what instruments do you play, or do you just sing? I sing, but I also play the um, the the ukulele. Or the ukulele, okay. Exactly. So I, ukulele I like bunches. and sing. Okay, I awesome. Sing. So when you do when you do bardy magic, it looks like like a performance kind of thing, I assume. Exactly, it's, it's okay. the best. And then the en enemies are just so uh, so <laughs> shocked about how amazing they are. They just they just give up and surrender. Oh yeah, that sounds good. Love to give up and surrender. All right, Bryn, you were playing a very familiar character from last time. <laughs> <laughs> playing uh, maybe an alternate reality version. I don't know. We'll, uh, she might have we, some we memories. We can find out how how it happens. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, teleported to another non-destroyed universe after uh, <laughs> her adventures one. destroying the last <laughs> universe. I think she's just here to steal things, basically. Okay, yeah, that sounds law. good. Maybe she'll uh, steal things, you know, from people who deserve it. Maybe not. She'll figure it out. I don't out. think I have any pre-game thief questions. Uh, so how about our, our last friend, who is a, an honorary member of Bun Gang here, uh, how, how is it being a druid? Oh, hello, hello, hello. My Hi. name is Ira Ivy, and I am the druid. <laughs> and the Bun Gang. Okay. 
What kind of what kind of animals do you, do you like to interact with? I always sort of wonder what a druid would be like in an animal centric game. What makes it different from like a, a standard druid where everyone's a human? Do you commune with like bugs? Yeah, most of the time. Okay. And sometimes some things that are smaller than me, so like squirrels and chipmunks and <clears throat> other things like little turtles. Okay. Yeah, that sounds. I cute. mean, little turtles. <laughs> yeah. Than me. yeah, little turtles that's like, you know, maybe the size it's of like, like a, a dog to you. Yeah. yeah. The smallest turtles in the world. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Everyone, so stop because... breathing. The turtles are in the air. <laughs> the turtles are in the air, yeah. Because this is a gender world game, our, our map is extremely vague right now. We have a. What is my phone doing? My phone I is. Gave the map bunny the ears. Answers. There we go. So I'm using my phone as a camera, and it just definitely okay Googled and tried to tell me that I was happy. So I'm glad that my oh. phone thinks I'm happy. That's very nice. Well, of that's it. lovely. But okay, we have okay, we have a map. I don't know if you can see it, but it has a casino on a hill. There's a little town and a, a sign that says Cheese Lab, which we'll get to in a moment. Um, but I I would love to know more about this place that we're in. We I know we have a casino on a hill. What kind of area are we in? Does anyone have any thoughts? Is it foresty? Is it an island? Is it the middle of a desert? Oh, uh, well, it's, it's, it's in a corral. Mm-hmm. So, um... Like it's, pastures it's, farmy? I am gonna say it's, it's very wild westy. There are some towns and hills, mm -hmm. but for the most part, there's tumbleweeds and other dry stuff. <laughs> and we wish we should have brought our flonays with us, as well as our Vaseline. When the, blow, when have, the wind blows the wrong direction, you can smell all the cows that are... Oh, oh yeah, there's cow poop over there. Oh, that's a what? Okay, so we got standard issue cowboy things. <laughs> <laughs> are there tumbleweeds? Oh tumble yeah, tumbleweeds oh. everywhere. Lots. Did you know that tumbleweeds are originally from Russia? Yeah, they're an invasive species. Taken over. Uh, they I know that. That's interesting. Yes. I did uh, know thank that, you. actually. Thank you. Yeah, well, of course you do. Your roommate okay. watches that CJP Grey guy all the time. <laughs> I do too. That's he talks too. about tumbleweed a lot. I think that's why. Yeah. Like an above average amount for a YouTube channel. <laughs> I think talking about it at all is above average. Right. But... Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, at least for, for a few minutes, the five of you are alone in this mysterious cheese scented dungeon. What do you do? Oh. Do you know each other? I think you all have bonds. It's a dungeon. Wait, did we all get thrown in the dungeon for like doing something wrong? Did we steal things? Mm hmm. I don't remember what happened. Oh, so we all have no memory. Holy applesauce! I don't have any of my spell books. Oh, that I remember was going to be my next point: is that your equipment is mysteriously absent. What? <laughs> well, poop on a stick. Um, <laughs> we should go out and see where all that stuff went. Anyone else have it? I will start frisking everyone else. Oh! Hey! Ooh! Uh, Lord! Uh, Lord! Got any books on you? All the way down! Filled up by a lizard. Or, or a lizard. Why did I say a wizard? Yeah. There you go. Are if you, you were a lizard? lizard wizard, I would never have been able to say anything. Or are you a wizard? Are you no, a hairy I, lizard? I have a wisp. Don't worry about it. You have a wisp? A wisp. A wisp? A, a wisp in my mouth. Because, well, spit it out! I used to have a will o' the wisp. I no, it's it not a will o. <laughs> it was it in your mouth too? I remember what I did with it. Did you swallow it? Cripes. Uh, no. I find it hard not to swallow things when they're in my mouth. It's kind of the system. You hear a little trumpet from in the hallway, and the sound of shuffling trumpet. small feet. I'm gonna what? yell, "Come in!" <laughs> <laughs> There's a knock on the door. Hello, hello. Are you all decent? This is a very squeaky oh. voice. We're all right. Fools. Mm. Oh, Medium. Physically or morally. Um, We're smelling like right cheese, here. so it's not very decent in here right now. <gasps> How it's dare you? Ripe in here. The door flies open, revealing what looks like two mice in very fancy armor. They're oh, yeah, wearing a, a little tabard with a crest on it that looks like a piece of Swiss cheese with a mouse sticking their head out of it. You know, that just kind of guides um, people to you... aim for specific places. Hmm. Any of you who, who, are, who are traveling around might even recognize this as the, the Swiss guard. Oh my god. <laughs> One of the mice turns to you and says, um, hi, 
you're all wearing clothes. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. How yeah. how how are you doing today? Can I get you anything? Some tea. We're wearing some clothes. Cheese. How good can we be? What what are we doing? Out of my possessions. Uh, well, so you're here on orders of the professor, all hail, all feared queen of cheese and inventor of Havarti. Yeah. You'll, you'll meet her shortly, Havarti? but, but in the meantime, you should, you should get cleaned up. Are you, do, do you need, do you need tea? Do you need baths? Are you gross? Are you just I like a tea bath. Like a pig sty. Ooh, um, tea bath. I could take out of myself. Not to be rude to pigs. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, I mean, blah, 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 blah. Blah. might be nice. I need a little, okay, a little okay, basin okay. to to bathe in. I like to just just ruffle around in it. So give me that. I as well would like a tea bath. <laughs> right, excellent tea baths. Tea baths for all. We've got it. Um, oh. um, um. She's gonna call it Bert, Mert, Luke, Mary, Perla. Let's get them the things. Closes the door and they all well, shuffle off with the trumpet playing the behind them. They they return in a few minutes, pushing bathtubs full of tea. <laughs> um, like I like this I service. We could have just gone to the bathtub. This is much more luxurious. They have they have cups of tea too for those who would prefer cups. Oh, oh yes, tea too. Cup. Judgment Day, my favorite. What? Yo, is definitely gonna try and bathe in the cup. <laughs> <laughs> you could try. Henry is going to get into the bathtub you? in all of his clothing. <laughs> ah, luxurious! <laughs> Just like floating there as a goose. Uh, uh, now you're gonna you smell like tea and cheese permanently. I would um, like some cookies to dunk in my tea, please. We only have crackers. Oh, crackers, of course, enough. Do you want cheese with them? Mm, no, thank you. I'm pretty much done with this. <gasps> they look oh. shocked and offended. Oh, <laughs> okay, maybe a small piece of cheese. <laughs> And then they will return with crackers and some cheese on the side, just in case yeah. you change your mind and find religion. I require fluffy bread, actually. Oh, we only have crackers. That I could break them up do. for you. Sure, yeah, let me I throw just... them at you. Have you never had a fondue? <gasps> oh, fondue is so lovely, but it's only only on the holy day. This is a holy day. It's the day what of the sacred what? fire. Ugh, raw holy day, the sacred fire. There's nothing on cheese. Little red lights are going to start appearing in these holes. <laughs> <laughs> I think you are mistaken. Right. Today is the sacred day of the Holy Flyer. Oh, right, he's course. using the voice again. For sure. Whatever you say. Go ahead. Um, you're Monsieur Donk, right? But I'm going to guess. Right, yes. No, I can tell. It's a family name, isn't it? I see. Yes. I mean, okay, wonderful, I'm, wonderful. Most names. So, um, I think once you're once you're feeling fresh and ready to to meet the professor, all hail. Uh, I, I am happy to to escort you to to her chamber. <laughs> I need I need little mouse little mouse things I can attach here instead of just the bunny ears. But, <laughs> but I I can give you some time to to get ready and get prepared. You want to look your best, of course. I mean, you've only been poisoned. You'll be fine. Oh, what? Is they all stomp outside and close the door. What? Uh, I thought it was spicy. Freya's gonna knock on the door and be like, "Can we have our stuff back?" Ah, uh, in time. Get ah, uh, in my belongings especially, ahead. Uh, especially you, the the foxy one. Three antidotes. Three. I, I believe three? that there should be five antidotes. I think it's only just. Did you use two of my antidotes? I'd like my three back. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. So, do do you all bathe in tea and get fancy? I, I don't get wet. <laughs> yeah, no, <that> makes sense. <laughs> what the hell? I'm gonna sit in the tub, just flicking water at Jack. Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! Uh, uh, Era will uh, wash her Good face. Time. Good time. <laughs> Okay, time passes, you're all clean and prepared, and the, the Swiss guard will open the door again to escort you to the professor's chambers. All hail, all feared queen and in inventor of Havarti. Ushers you down through through labyrinthine hallways lined by massive, massive wheels of cheese. On all sides. There's a couple of barrels of wine. There's a huge stack of crackers. Uh, you, you pass, you know, like uh, various bunks for, for the Swiss guard. 
who are obviously defending Jeeves here. And they lead you into a big, huge open room. At the back of it, there's a purple curtain drawn. Ah, someone and drew a like purple a curtain. Little bit of a, a little, yeah, I know. It's a very nice drawing. That's uh, very nice drawing. It's covering drive. whatever is at the top of the stairs. It looks very dramatic. You must be somewhat deep underground here. I definitely need that for my shows. That would make a beautiful entrance. That is mine now. Hmm. Yes. Beautiful entrances are her absolute specialty. I think you'll be delightfully pleased. Uh, um, dear, dearest professor, doo -doo -doo -doo. and the Swiss guard will all sort of assemble in their little like mouse armor uniforms, all prepared to the sides. And, and Look at them moving like clockwork. One of them sort They're of creeps delicious. up, trying to be subtle, and grabs the curtain and pulls it back, um, revealing a giant spinning hamster wheel with the poofiest hamster in the world on it. She's wearing goggles. She's got a headband that sort of like squishes all of her poof in. So she just looks like she's got a big, ridiculous, nonsense divide in her in her poof. Uh, and she turns to you and says, are you them? She's jogging Sometimes. this whole time. Have you not heard of it? Hey, it's a big swing from her water. Ugh. I haven't heard of you either. Better than you. Ugh, lovely. At least you smell nice. Thank you. So did my did my minions? <laughs> She's still jogging. Give you give you the insight. Are you ready? Do you know what you have to do? Absolutely. Can we have our stuff back now? You can have your stuff back on the way out. Oh, perfect. So, okay, let's just get to in it. Case, just in case, you have been poisoned. I poisoned all of you because right. I need you to do something for me. Makes sense. That is inside. exactly how I get people to do things for me. Yeah, I don't oh. usually appreciate that. Haven't it's, I seen you on Tinder? All, all you, I possibly. <laughs> well, I've never seen you. I'm at the box one. Swig of some water. It's Look been good. a while since I was on there. You know how it is. It's a little hot. Oh, I know, baby. Continuing to jog on her giant mouse wheel. So inside the casino, there there exists a vault, a famous impossible vault. Inside this impossible vault is a relic, a golden relic, shimmering, made by the finest craft hamsters of old. You will acquire for me this relic. If you do so, I will give you the antidote and as much gold as you can carry. If you fail, you will die. She takes another swig of her water. She Any questions? My you how have five how days. long does this? Well, five days before the poison kills us. Wow. Oh, sorry. You were so four and a bit. Why did we spend so much time bathing? <laughs> the, 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 the Hygiene is important. Very smelly. Excuse me. Important. I must be perfect. Hy hy hygiene is important. There. Who are you? You, the rabbit. <laughs> what? <laughs> Have you been here the whole time? Yeah, we were very poor peripheral vision. <laughs> my movement is based on my, my vision is based on motion. Right, making you in a in a <laughs> <laughs> just continuing to run in her wheel. Right. Each of you have been picked for your for your skill set, not for your, your style, taste, comradeship, or or, or appearance. Um, but I, I greatly appreciate your your inevitable service. Have, squirt, no. squirt, jog, 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 jog. She sort of has like a giant water like bottle hanging like there from the side. Thing? Yeah, okay. with a big licky thing that she's like slurping from as she talks to you. So, so the Swiss Guard can take you on the way out and they can give you all of your equipment and you'll be very prepared. You can do whatever it is that you want to do. Um, oh, I don't okay. care how you do it. I just care that you do it. Just a quick question. Where is the antidote kept? I want to see proof of the antidote before I go do this thing, just in case you're lying and we die anyway. <gasps> all of the, the mice in armor gasp in shock. <laughs> she, she, accused, she accused the professor. She, I wouldn't lie to you. Are you serious? Yes. I'm not going to lie to us, but you Not would until after that. No, that's yes, poison us. poison you. You've it's, lost all trust. Quite the difference between poisoning someone <laughs> and lying to them. The flexible morals. I she get checks it. a little Fitbit on her arm. You <laughs> lied to our bodies with the poison. <laughs> it's a little, a little fib to get you to do what I need you to do. Okay. That's true. And when we come back, don't believe me. Don't do believe everything me. you need. You, we will definitely keep you alive. And that's you not a scoundrels fit. can choose to do anything that you want to do. If you don't that's want true. to get me the golden relic of the the dwarf hamsters of yore, you can go and die in a few days. It's totally up to you. It's fine. It's no skin off my fur off my back. 
Slurp, slurp. Have you considered giving us the antidote? We'll steal the stuff anyway. I did, yes, but the... You, you see, the mice convinced me not to, so I didn't. Was it your poison giver? Did they convince you, trying to keep their job? Oh, that's me! It's my hobby! It's so much fun! Oh, well, everyone needs a hobby. Uh, uh, hobby. Do you know how many poisons you can make from cheese? Oh my gosh, I should tell you about it if you survive. 37. That's quite close. Impressive. Mm. Oh, 38, Havarti. <laughs> yes, you got it. This is a Havarti maze. Havarti. Oh my gosh, it's hard to talk while doing this, you know. You should not have interrupted. It's Havarti based. We, we came to, okay. Yes, all right. Spend a wheelie, lot of wheelie, time wheelie, wheelie, running wheelie, wheelie, on wheelie. a wheel behind a curtain for dramatic effect. <laughs> uh, it's not my fault that fitness is important to me, cur. <laughs> run, 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 run. Well, she's got your number. You may have poisoned us, but you can't insult us. That oh, just I turns kind of us off. She, she just proved that she could do both. I'm yeah, quite certain that I've insulted all of you. It was pretty solid. The only one she hasn't insulted is me. Mm. But that's me. She hasn't insulted me. We're warming up to you. I that's am the professor. I'm allowed to be mean. I invented Havarti. Oh. Slurp. I it's a mediocre cheese. Did she? <gasps> Get out. Okay, sounds good. Where's my stuff? Four and a bit days. The Swiss guard will, will lead you outside. Perfect. Can you provide us with transportation to get there? Grab some beetles we could ride? <laughs> Not again. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, There's uh, like a friend, merchant who could sell them to dear us. Dear friend of mine once warned me about lending beetles. I, I will never again lend beetles to a stranger. <laughs> Terrible things can happen, both to the beetles and to the beetle lender, I hear. So the legends say. <laughs> Sounds like that person caught beetle mania. Absolutely. Right. Very oh. it's going around out there. Be the careful. Jokes are starting to bug me. <laughs> Alright, well. The, the 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 mice will slowly draw the curtain to a close while she attempts to make a dramatic face, sticking her head out and following it along. <laughs> Trying oh, to catch up on, on the wheel, of course, which is very challenging to do. She does realize if she gets off the wheel, she'll actually go places, right? Will she really, though? Isn't there just a glass ceiling for <laughs> all of you, James? <laughs> Would she? Hey, that's not nice. This? Well, I'm just so, saying that it's a good thing. I'm just making an observation about the state of the socioeconomic climate of the world, as well as the oppression placed on women, minorities, and other folk. <laughs> oh, dude, you need to wake up. Get uh, woke. The, could, a couple of the, the mice go, yeah, no, the, the goose is right. I'm just saying, like, maybe, you know, maybe not, like, complete communist revolt or anything, but definitely a little bit of, you know, workers rising up against the proletariat. That, that's uh, can I roll disease. Firebrand? <laughs> I'm... So I have an ability, when you introduce a new idea to an NPC, roll Charisma. Uh -huh. Yeah, All go right. for it. <laughs> Uh, so that is a 12. So, okay. On well, the 10 plus, they believe the idea to be their own and take to it with fervor. The Swiss guards seem very interested in this. You know, you guys have all the weapons, right? Well, we have your weapons, she says. Oh. She, she starts taking you towards further down the hallway to what looks like it must be an exit. You can see sunlight. Well, once you give us our weapons back, then the only weapons you'll have are your weapons, which is great, because you can use those to, uh, you know, enforce your will upon the people. I mean, the, 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 the power structures. Like the flames of revolution. Very interesting ideas. Well, you're the one that says it. Can we get our stuff back now, please? Um, uh, yes, of course. Hang on. Come, come this way. And the, the... The Swiss guard, the horde of armored mice, will, will take you to the entrance, which looks like, um, as you get there, a little elevator in a well. And there's a chest sitting there with all of your stuff in it, as well as an hourglass that seems to be ticking down time. I thought the hourglass would be a nice touch, just so that you would have a have a warning. You know how oh, it is. Thank try you. not to die. Do we have to keep the hourglass vertical wherever we carry it in order for it to work? <laughs> Mm. Oh, Not it. I didn't really think of that. Not if it. Flip, if we flip it over, then we have more time. 
Oh. I don't think it works like that. Maybe. Could be a magic don't poison. Like this I like your goose thinking. This some interesting ideas. <laughs> I met a wizard that actually ran a poison scheme like that. It was very lucrative. He was also a sand a sand glass maker. Mm. He actually made more money with the hourglasses, to be honest. The, mm. the poison was more of a hobby. Wait, was it I don't really understand a lot of that stuff. Being from the Temple of Cheese and all, you know how it is. Ah, yes, holy brave. Praise be to the fondue. Mm -hmm. Yes. May so in seminary, forever runneth over. Take care of yourselves. Try not to die of poison. And um, I, I suppose don't do anything I wouldn't. I wouldn't do. Do the fondues, not the fondants. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Oh, you're yeah. so familiar with the scripture. Yeah. Okay, pray right this dabble. way. You all smell so good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's all natural. And the so why will escort you onto the 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 shoddy elevator in a in a well, which will start rising you up to the surface. I don't know if we have town sounds. Uh, yes, we do. Ooh, I can hear the town, town coming. Sounds. What kind of town <laughs> is it? An old west town? No, let's go with an old west town full of full of animus. I wonder if I have any for, any full of anime. that are. More, that more was last night, for, Kelly. For, for, for yeah. <laughs> the anime one looked like fun. It was really fun. <laughs> uh, one moment. Uh, once upon a Let's time, see. I looked up. I'm just going to do like a cartoony forest background. There we go. That'll fit all. All yeah. things. Uh, all so things I've got a ghost town, time. medieval town, mill town, and river town. Um, river town? Mill? Maybe there's a river now. There's now a river between a the town and the casino. Well, that's nice. My map now says river in river. totally illegible writing that I sort of put over top of a poorly drawn chimney. Then later it'll say reaver and you're like, what the hell? <laughs> oh no, Did that happen? I didn't know about that. <laughs> I mean, that, that, might be, that might be what happened. So what is the name of this town? You're popping up basically in the middle of it. River there town. Is this wells. river town? River walk? Wiverbottom? Wiverbottom? Wait, sorry, Wibble it's my wisp again. Wiverbottom. Wiverbottom? Wiverbottom. 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 Okay. Riverbottom is a totally seedy Old West style town full of cows, horses, pigs, geese, ducks, and you know, some, some other animals, but it, it's mostly your, your usual farm life, pasture, corral type. Scattered around throughout here. As you reach the top of it, a tumbleweed does blow past the, the somewhat empty streets. It looks like it's early morning. Oh, another like tumbleweed. Oh, what do you do? They're everywhere. Well, you can well, see well, in the supplies? in the not too distant not too not too long in not too distant hill. There we go. Words are working for me today. Uh, there is a massive barn with huge neon lights shooting up into the sky, still visible even in the morning light. Pretty. Perhaps they're a spell. What do you do? Where's this tumbleweed going? It's important. Uh, it's going basically the total opposite direction of the casino through town. It's just bouncing around. I'm going to walk up to it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to light a little bit of it on fire. Okay. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. It, it continues to bounce off around town. Now more dangerous than ever. That thing could roll into a building. I think Fre Freya's gonna ah. try and pick it up and possibly burn herself. Yeah, okay. <laughs> like, honestly, cut. You're, you're trying to pick up a burning tumbleweed, right? This sounds like you're, you're intending to defy danger. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I lost my move sheet. <laughs> sure, I have one here. Uh, so how, how are you trying to do this? You try to pick it up through the power of brute strength or resisting the flame or with dexterity, I assume. You're trying to sort of go do, 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 do. Are these play sheets? Oh, they do have, okay, cool. I found it. Um, yeah, define danger sounds about it. Act sure. despite an imminent threat. <laughs> <laughs> you are picking up a tumbleweed. <laughs> the imminent threat is, I think, my own stupidity. Your, your own imminent, yes, being on fire. <laughs> yeah. You are covered um, in fur in a yeah. desert setting, picking mm -hmm. up a flaming tumbleweed. <laughs> At least there's the river. Just, just let's all say, the let's say There's the river. We'll just push you into the river. The not burning part. Okay, yeah. so you're just trying to, trying to snap at it. It's, it looks like it's lighting pretty quick. So roll 2d6 plus dex. Tell me what you get. 
random, but I forgot there were dice in this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> There's another um, okay. Powered by the Apocalypse game called um, God's End that I really want to run, which has no dice. I got a uh, seven. Wait, the one for Legacy? You got a seven. Okay. Oh, plus dexterity, which hmm. is two. So, nine. You got a nine. Okay, so you're still in the seven to nine range. So you are going to like stumble, hesitate, or flinch to some degree. Uh, this is burning faster than you expected it to. Uh, but you are not yet on fire. You could throw it to the side, or you'll catch fire a little bit. What do you do? Ah, uh, Freya, embrace the flame. Don't embrace the fire. Get out! Uh, Drop it! Don't don't do it. Don't, you got don't. ball. What do you do? I think I'll catch fire a little bit. <laughs> Okay. This uh, sucks. So beautiful. <laughs> the wibble is that away. Ah, fire! She's actually um Ira's actually gonna like push Freya a little bit towards the water, whether or not she <laughs> there, I will say there in. there are two wells in town, one of which is an evil elevator to a mysterious cheese laboratory. The other one might be a real well. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, so Freya, please take one damage as you catch your arm <laughs> on fire. Uh, and you, are you still holding the tumbleweed or you put it gently down so it doesn't blow into a building? Can I have, like, can I collect the charred bits? Yeah, I mean, you're, you're starting to catch more on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, uh, can I put it in the river and then take the charred tumbleweed? So the river might be a bit far away. You might have to. Oh. You may want to go for the well first. Sure, I'll, I'll up to you. put some water on it from the well. I okay. just want to collect this tumbleweed. That is my goal here. So you, you, I assume you dunk your flaming limb and tumbleweed into into the well, possibly forever poisoning the the well water with whatever poisons in you and a, a flaming tumbleweed. I'm sure this will not cause problems for the it's town. Fine. Tumbleweeditis is really rough this time of year, so you never know. You never, you never know. <laughs> All the tumbleweed must be collected, yes. So yeah. you now have a partially charred tumbleweed. Um, Kelly, what is um, Mr. DeHonk doing at this? Just watching. Okay. <laughs> Why would you cleanse the burns? What did you Can do I, to my uh... baby? <laughs> Can I start uh, doing a, a that song? That must have been painful coming out about this burning tumbleweed to try and uh Absolutely. heal my so, ally. So in Underworld, you mostly just decree things. So you want to start singing the song? Yes, I'm going to start singing to give a healing thing. Oh, the stupidity of the fox <laughs> from a goose just trying to cause trouble. That was oh, a really wow. short song. That was so that nice, was, though. That was cute. I work in uh, short limericks. Some various townsfolk, most of which seem to be very sleepy looking cows, are going to stick their faces out of their windows. One of them moves at you and says, It's too early for this. Morning! Yeah, how did you miss that opportunity to say morning? I was They're going to tell us to move you. along! <laughs> I was going to say move along. I was prepared for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I'm sorry to wake you up with this utter nonsense! Utter nonsense. You are <laughs> having a cow over there, goose. <gasps> what are <laughs> leather? Cows. Anyway. Shutting their, their big dramatic wooden windows on the street, leaving you here again alone, but perhaps watched through window slits by an offended cow. Hmm. What do you do? You now have a partially crispified tumbleweed. <laughs> I'm really curious what your plan is for this. You're going to store it? Yeah, for later. Okay. Well, yeah. Which way to the casino? The fire brought you together for a reason. It, it did. Are you are you asking the 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 dungeon Mias Maestro the direction? No, I'm just casino? asking the group in general. Yeah, that makes more sense. I, I don't remember. We, we we should probably focus. I mean, if we don't get on with this, we're probably going to be um dead. Yeah, poison. <laughs> oh, not again. For you. Got what? Sorry, I'm a party pooper. I've never had good reactions to poison. No. I've never had a reaction to poison, but that's because I'm still alive. I'm allergic. Uh, Most people dead. are. Every time I get poisoned, I break out and fetch quests. That's true. <laughs> Seems so, legitimate. For anyone looking for, for the casino who is unaware, on, on the hill across the river, I think because now there's a river from this town that's totally named River Bottom, that I might rename River Bottom if it gets taken over yep. by River Bottom. Orcs. And if we get the uh, light show working, River Bottom. 
barn with neon shimmering magical lights flying up into the sky that is very obviously the casino that you were at last night. Oh, I'm assuming that's the casino. Mm-hmm. Either that. You can see the giant the sign that says club. casino really Either gives way. it away. It does. It's in the sky. <laughs> oh, I know this it is. how they trick you. By putting lights in the sky? Yeah, no, I'm saying it's you know, a big spinning um, roulette wheel up there now. It's very fancy. The roulette wheel looks get like that a clock for the, for the opening hours. It looks like it opens at 9 a.m. What time is it right now? I don't know, like 7.30. Oh, we could go there and be first in line. Maybe they have all-you-can-eat breakfast. That, 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 sounds, that sounds nice. But um, maybe we should get some supplies or something first, though. If we mm-hmm. have time. I have all the supplies we'll ever need. The, Me too. The, you say the tumbleweed? tumbleweed? <laughs> yeah, the tumbleweed. The tumbleweed uh, was given to us by the divine fire. Yes. You, it was not given. You set it on fire. Well, yeah. it rolled over here first, and it was pretty much begging for it. Seriously, it's a quest. Look, you think More that people only are starting animals... to, to wake up and peek out their windows at you, various concerned for, for Good morning. their faces. Uh, a duck in a in a school teacher's uniform with a horde of small ducks with little big bright yellow hats that they can be found uh, walks her her horde of children past you through town and they all give you a wide berth. Look at them; they're just squamptious. Good morning. Looking at you. So, they're so cute. I could just eat them. So, they're so, so small. Good morning. Small, good morning. Small. Good morning. They give you a morning, wider morning, berth than they were giving you before. Good morning. 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 Deep. 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 Cheep, cheep, cheep. Each one of them does a little cheep and like nods at you. Mm-hmm. They speak mm-hmm. to the duck, of course. The They're not thing. that good at comment. Good morning. They're probably uh, going to break off little uh, 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 a little bit of tumbleweed and give a little bit of tumbleweed to each of the <laughs> Each of the ducklings are just giving a piece of bird. They all uh, take yes. it. I'm confused. <laughs> Some of them start drawing on their little tiny beaks like a little fake mustache with it. With adorable. like little goggles on their on their poopy feathers, like I must yes. I must tweet this. This is a very tweetable. Ooh, good. You can see it spreading. I just, why did I run two of these? <laughs> <laughs> this is this is why. Yeah, no, this is great. <laughs> Cult of the burnt tumbleweed. I think you're gonna come back to this town, and it's just gonna be like taken over by ducklings with like giant staffs that are on fire chanting about the sacred flame and the the all-feared queen of Havarti will be a good time and the mustache of destiny yeah oh yes of course the charcoal mustache is how you know you're in the club if you don't have a charcoal mustache they burn you alive oh all right that's i grabbed uh, for one reason (laughs) sacred flame oh oh. the sacred flame has a wicked stash when uh, in its Mm -hmm. human well animal avatar form I definitely considered having a, an animal farm background. I might do that. Animal farm. <laughs> um, I think Freya's gonna hold up the tumbleweed like it's guiding her and start like swaying towards the casino, like, like a dowsing tumbleweed towards the casino. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. It's okay. The sacred so you... guides us. <laughs> So do do all of you follow suit? Uh, uh, Are you tumbling along afterwards? Yes. Sure. I sure. tumble. So. You tumble. Okay. So you head across the the dusty town as more and more people are starting to wake up around you. They seem to to know that something happened to you last night, and they're all wanting nothing to do with you. That seems I'm legitimate. Go, I'm gonna go fly up to the top of the casino and see if I can get a advantage point. Okay, yeah, so you can fly up there ahead. Um, taking a look around at this point, it looks like the, the staff are starting to arrive. Um, and there's a... Uh, okay, no, and the, there are security on site that seems to all have little snacks and coffee. And so they must be a new shift. Hmm. But from the top of this, you, you can see all sorts of little magical emitters for, for the lights in the sky. It smells kind of like breakfast. Hmm. Mm. Oh, guys, I think we should get some food before we do this, you know, just we, the rest we, we of you can... cheese. Oh, yes, very and much. The rest of you can cross the, cross the river and meander your way up the hill. This is a, a long hill. It takes some time. Meryl Cheap, themed singer, uh, is perched above the, the casino waiting for you and flutters down. So, so what do you do? You still have like an hour before it opens. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast? 
Oh, oh, yeah. Wh where? Where would we get a breakfast? There's gotta be a pub or restaurant somewhere. There are a whole bunch of little, like, um, small, like, street dealer-esque shops scattered around the, the edges of the casino up on the hill. Some of them are open and serving food. It looks like the, the casino opens, and when it does, there is breakfast, but that it's still mm. not open yet. Oh, I like street vendors. They always have the coolest things on a stick. So what do you do? You going to street vendor? Hey! Okay. Yeah. Okay. What street vendor do you approach? What kind of animal are they? Might be a good cook. Hmm. Or I can invent one. I will invent, invent one. Uh, so you approach a rooster. Cock a doodle doo. Cock a doodle doo to you too, sir. How can oh. I help you? Do you have vegetables? Uh, of course we have vegetables. What, what would you like? Uh, In front of him is, is it looks like a like a magical hot plate, for lack of a better description. Not the classiest of places. But he's got a, a bag full of veggies and, and another bag that looks like it has bug meat or something in it. I can make you anything you would like, my friends, they say. Just the stir fry mixed vegetables, please. Stir fry mixed absolutely, absolutely. He's going to start jotting down a little order on a tiny pad. How about the rest of you? Thanks. Do you have some, like, various, I like a variety of different seeds. Do you have any, like, a seed, seed trail mix? Oh, I... We have limited seed selection, unfortunately. Mm. Um, my, my children tend to eat them. Mm, yes, yes. Um, um, I, will take... I, I have some Sorry. available, just not much of a collection. All right, I will, I'll just take some seeds. Okay, Whatever yes, they course. might be. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll give you a discount for the, the lack of seed-related variety. Oh, thank you. I will see about your, uh, about your little shop. Hope they'll bring you some business. Of course, of course. I hope to seed you around, they say. Mm-hmm. Um, now, now that you're getting a closer look, you can see what looks like a, a casino uniform underneath the, the little jacket that they're wearing. How, how about the rest of you? I don't suppose you have any goldfish or minnows or sardines or, I don't know, tuna fish? Nope. What? No one fishes around here? You got a wibble right there. Um... Uh, mm. I could go and find one myself. <laughs> they, they hold up their wings. It is difficult to hold a fishing rod. <laughs> Never mind. I'll go look myself. I'll go down to the river and start looking. Okay. In the start river rummaging, trying to find goldfish. Totally, there's goldfish in the river. That's how rivers work. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about the rest of y'all? Grand's probably just like sitting on the ground, staring into the tumbleweed. <laughs> just like, uh, did did Freya discover religion and is is, is religion a, a burning tumbleweed? <laughs> I think Freya was maybe transposed between dimensions and it like did not do good things. <laughs> <laughs> maybe yeah. you just like maybe you appeared fully formed in the casino attempting to steal something. Probably, yeah. <laughs> You're just like, wait, how did I quite get here? That's very confusing. <laughs> so, what about yourself, Mister Donk? I'm mostly just watching, looking for opportunities. Of course they say. What sort of opportunities are you looking for? The casino has many opportunities. I work there myself. Hmm. Do you have uh, a place for a motivational speaker? Motivational speaker. Yes. You know, sometimes they do a speaking circuit, sort of like a, um, a shed talk. Mm hmm yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a guessing. <laughs> I prefer Shed X myself, it's a little quicker. Oh, it's good, it's quite good, yeah. Um, I don't believe that we have one coming up, but you could, um, you, you could always talk to someone, or, or I could... I'm know, talking to someone right a, now. A you, business you're card. someone. I could pass along your, your information to management. Oh, I, I'm nobody, I'm just the... the you're not no one, you're the most important person in your life, and if you don't start treating yourself like that, who's going to? Surely not management. Okay, that's that's a fair enough point, they say. Remember, human, well, animal resources is there for the <laughs> company, not for you. <laughs> um, right, of course. But yep, I mean, we all have to get paid, right? 
We all accept various forms this of little currency. little stand, and they're, they're actively making food for y'all at this point. Doesn't quite, you know, pay pay my, my chick's way through, through college, so... Ah, yes. Let me guess. Horticulture. I have no idea. Horticulture. <laughs> ah, yes, the study of time! Yes. <laughs> yes. Good. Is that right? I mean, they, they turn to you. No. <laughs> no, it is the study of time. <laughs> I mean, technically, yeah, it's all, it's about seasons. <laughs> Look, you're just thinking on a micro level. Like you need to think plan. macro. Fair enough. Fair, fair enough. <laughs> I've heard that a yes. um, so so they, they will also extend a, a wing towards you, towards you, Henry. So what is your name? I'm happy to, to make an introduction. Of course, I am Henry de Honk. Famed follower of the Sacred Flame, you perhaps have heard my stories. They were sung by Meryl Cheap. I thought you looked that familiar, one. or at least the, uh, at least Meryl did. But I'm sorry, Henry, I don't believe that we've met before. My, my name's just, just just Bray. They will shake wings. Oh, nice you, may have, you, you may recognize him from my fame song, Toss a, Toss a Bread to Your Goose. Oh, oh I, I saw the the um, tapestry for that when it was going through town. Yes, yeah. very yes, fine yes, art. Yes, yes. <laughs> that was him. It was all about him. It's me. I'm I the honker see. of legend. The honker of legend. Okay. Well, I'm sure management will be very excited to talk to you, and maybe they can figure out a like a, a shed talk schedule in the near future. I don't believe we have plans for one, but they're always open. You know, if they want money. Yes. There are many mm -hmm. forms of currency. Ah, they will finish up all of your food. Ah, yes, currency. I mean, except for those of you who are fishing in a river. Um, so, speaking of fishing in a river, how do you do this? Uh, pretty much just go and snatch them out of the water with my paw. <laughs> snatch goldfish out of the river? Yeah, just I have many questions on. about how sentience works in this world, but I'm going to yeah. decide that goldfish are basically the same as they are now. <laughs> Oh, they got and whether really or not no that's problem. due to insufficient memory or like that fish aren't sentient, Someone I don't stole. know. Someone instill <laughs> more ram in these fish! <laughs> <laughs> Sushi is in short supply around here. Sure. So I'm not going to make you roll for, for any of the stuff here, but you, you do attract some attention for, for splashing around. You you look quite a bit like a wizard, right? Um, a fell amount. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you sort of look like this totally bizarre robed person splashing about in the river grabbing fish. Yeah, that's what you're I get some attention. <laughs> ah, a wizard of taste. A wizard of taste, yes. I perform my breakfast moving. <laughs> well, you have a, a very moving start to your day. Delicious. Perhaps crunchy. Whatever eating a goldfish is like, I imagine crunchy. It's like sushi like with the rice not rice. quite cooked all the way. Right, okay, okay. That sounds good. <laughs> or something, something like it. So the rest of you, you are you are given food. I presume that all of you reassemble. What do you do? Does anybody have a breath mint? I think I've got tuna breath. Something does melt the mint. Mm -hmm. You sure oh, you don't want to keep that for later? Oh, that's perfect. Thank you. It might come in handy. <laughs> Just like chewing the leaf. That sounds yeah. good. <laughs> so, so to Bray, who, who's the rooster that you have all met now, like you know, gives you your food and looks like they're they're starting to get ready for for their shift to the casino. So they're packing up the shop. Uh, can I get you anything else before before I have to go to work? They say no, but can I would like to ask you something. Um, yes, I would like to speak frankly with you, to be honest. Um, what are you really feeling right now? And I'm using um, charming and open ability. Okay. They Let's must see how answer. That goes. You, when you speak frankly with someone, you can ask their player questions in the list below. They must answer truthfully. That sounds good. Let's do it. So let's do, do, do you have to roll for that? No, it just says when you speak frankly with someone. Okay. I'm sounds good. Let's do it. This guy. Okay. So what are you really feeling right now? How are you doing? Meryl, that probably tell you anyway. Honestly, uh, tired, late shifts. Mm. My, my work at the casino isn't the most important, but it, it can be fun sometimes. 
you think for, for a place like this they'd pay better, but you know, you have to, you gotta get your chicks through college somehow, right? Oh yes, of course. Yes, they're putting on what looks like um, sort of like a, almost a jester outfit with jangles on it over their, their uniform. Have a banjo. I have a, a ukulele myself. Do you, you play there? Uh, so I announce whenever someone wins. Oh. Which means rarely do I get to play there. Mm. <laughs> and do you like your job? Should, other than the, the, the crappy pay. Do you enjoy it? Is it a good atmosphere? Good management? Not at all. Mm. Mm. But I'm sure you knew that. It's a casino. Yes, yes, yes. People aren't aren't there for, for good management. <laughs> No, no, no. We considered burning it all down. How about we not light things on fire? I right have now? not considered burning it all down. You're lying. You're a wage worker. That's the first thought. <laughs> <laughs> Third thought. Where's the bathroom? Winter breaks. How do I burn this mother down? So it, it almost looks like they, they go through a road action at that point. While there are two bathrooms on either way, on either side of the main entrance, there's a third bathroom next to the kitchen. Taking notes. Um, <laughs> breaks are at blah, 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 blah. Breakfast Ooh. is served until 11.30. Lunch starts at 1 p.m. Uh, dinner service lasts from 5.30 until 9.30. Last drinks are at 11 o'clock, and then the casino is closed at 3 o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. And then, all right. Last drinks is more of a suggestion. The bar doesn't really close. Oh. Wait, does that mean the bar's open right now? The, I mean, the when when the casino is open, the bar will certainly be open. They say. But does that mean the casino never closed? <laughs> <laughs> um, do do Meryl Streep and the Rooster look at all alike? <laughs> oh, Jordy, I'm I'm just playing this one random NPC briefly. And reading off as a stretch, I am wildly inventing this NPC as we go uh, so far. Acting! I think that they're going to put on big old sick ass sunglasses as they continue to get ready. Okay. Nice. Um, Fran's going to like come up to them. Uh, are they like behind the counter or? Uh, they're sort of disassembling the counter. Oh, okay. So I can get like within arm's reach of them. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to be like, can I tell you? Of course. Sure. They'll be careful. I, I can't promise secrecy. You know, I, I crow to everyone. <laughs> no, I had to. I had to. Go ahead. Uh, and then she's going to use... I have a poison that makes them fall into a light sleep and just go whoop, on his feet. Okay. Or maybe somewhere the poison transfers better into the bloodstream. <laughs> you could just sort of, like, get, I mean, you could put it on the edge of your paw and, like, lean in super close. and just Yeah, look at his mouth. Know. Like that. This, put it on your paw. You're, you're put it in his mouth. Thief. You do. You, you do this however you want to do this. Eat my paw. <laughs> and that's that's the question here: is what do you do? How do you do this? <laughs> Probably just like booping his beak. <laughs> so, so they get booped. Okay. So what's the description for this poison? It says the target falls into a light sleep. Okay. So you you will boop them and they will let it a big old yawn and sort of sit down on their slowly being disassembled um, restaurant booth thing and start to snore. <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? Uh, so Fran's gonna like steal their uniform, basically. Good thinking. We need to get <laughs> acting before this cock rises again. Why is this? Because <laughs> it's okay. a rooster! Right, nope, nope, that... This is still PG. Check so. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> yes, we don't uh, want to get in a okay. big cock fight. It's a fray. You have acquired a, a, a uniform that is size for, for a bird. It, I, she's going to hand it to uh, Meryl. And be like, I can't sing. Sense. <laughs> you want me to be the announcer? That is so beneath me. Do you realize? Perhaps it's you could have patter songs. Brian's gonna say, I think there's ground beneath me. I mean, at, at, at a certain point, Meryl thinks everything's can be beneath her. Beneath you. <laughs> yes, I, everyone is beneath me. Especially when you fly. Not everyone. Yeah, it, Especially it, when she exactly. drinks. 
Maybe not like an albatross, though, because they fly higher, right? No, she drinks Grey Goose mostly. Exactly. That's calories. <laughs> Looks like other Got staff em. are starting to arrive and are being let in by the little security team. Fran's going to start like, Looks like they're trying... mostly pigs. pigs Fran's going to start like, trying be. to put the clothes onto me. <laughs> <laughs> fine, fine, fine. I will put on a uniform. Oh. And pose as an employee, if that's the plan that we're thinking of. Do you want to ask what? I could turn somebody plan. invisible. Oh, that might be helpful. I just thought you would look good in the uniform. Oh, okay. Well, then, if that's the case. It is all about fashion. <laughs> well, if oh. it's Fue's idea, she should go along with you. I'm going to start casting my invisibility spell. Okay. Pray are you making me invisible? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be very surprised. <laughs> just I'd be like, oh, where am I? And probably run into a wall. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone won't see anything else. Well, like my ears shrink when I start drinking. They're like smaller ears. I'm Your going ears to here when you there you go, and then they pop back up. It's very cute. For a ladder. <laughs> uh, to be honest, Solomon, I don't know that Henry could be invisible. Okay, so we have an invisible. I'm going fox. to look for a ladder. We have an especially disguised um, Meryl Cheap. We have an immolator goose looking for a ladder. Mm -hmm. uh, Did you make the you tumbleweed invisible, or is there a floating buddies? tumbleweed that I'm carrying around? Uh, I, I rolled for my spells, so I don't lose it because I got a 10. Uh, that sounds good. You know what, Freya? This is up to you. <laughs> What is our what I is our a floating tumbleweed friend up for the to? Time being. It's a floating tumbleweed, okay. The great and mystical tumbleweed speaks to all. <laughs> that thing Damn gets away. Wow. <coughs> I'll, I'll probably just go in there and uh, start start seeing if there's any b b bugs that I can talk to about things. Yeah, that sounds good. There are probably going to be a lot of bugs in there, actually. That's a very good idea. That's what I figured. Okay, so why don't, why don't we start with the infiltration attempt here. So you are cleverly disguised as um, sort of an employee, kind of. There is a staff-only door that appears to be letting staff in. Are you going to attempt to yeah. enter? Yes, I will okay. attempt. You, you probably don't look like a rooster. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have the glasses, right? Exactly. The, the yeah, you can put on the big old sunglasses. See if it works. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Like, is there? Hmm. I'm trying to see if I have anything I can do to make this successful. I mean, okay. So it sounds to me like your your goal is to to walk out the door and talk your way in. Yeah. This could be a defy danger, using charisma. Hmm. Yes, I could. There's, I mean, there's several different ways to do it. It's sort of up to you and how yeah. you want to do it. I think yeah, that might or, be the or, easiest one because you're walking up to armed pig guards trying to talk your way into a staff-only entrance yeah. uh, disguised as a missing employee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do this. Let's defy some danger. <laughs> <laughs> that just sound a little dangerous. It's a no, it's good, guys. Don't worry about this. Right. It's totally Roll plus charisma. All right. Oh no, this is no fan. Oh, um, that is a seven. A seven, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that is barely, barely, barely there. Okay, so how, how do you do this? Do you walk up and you just have the sunglasses on and you're going to pretend to be them, or are you a new employee? Or... Yeah, I think I'm just being like, this is the I'm a new hire. I don't know. I'm this is my first day on the scene. I am the uh, the new announcer for for winnings. I have a, a beautiful voice. I've just been just been recently hired. Um, this is this is the entrance for the staff, right? I'm oh, new no. here. Oh. This is the staff entrance. Yes, I got a seven. Okay, I'm gonna be mean to you. Okay. <laughs> So the, the two the two pig guards are looking at you. One of them is short, one of them is tall. Perhaps only one ever tells the truth and the other one only lies. You'll have to find out. But to start, the short ones are going to look at you and honk and go, hmm, make this very, very suspicious face at your approach. But the tall one can see over your sunglasses. And he says, are you Meryl Cheap? My, how your, stall, your star must have fallen to get hired here. Come on in. Yes. 
I follow Watch my out, heart. watch out. And, the, and he yells back into the staff, washed up celebrity coming through. <laughs> but but he'll open the door, letting you and, and an invisible fox friend in. I just need a ha. Huh. I just kind of like stretch and take like a they really laugh, long They laugh, snorting time. at you as you go. Let Freya through first. Oh, yeah. Big awkward stretch. You will see, you will see. It's just a small, small dim. Meryl Jeep is not in a rut. She just needs some extra coin. <laughs> They, they continue to, to snort and openly make fun of you. Pigs. <laughs> but an appropriate description. So the two of you break in. So, Mr. Honk, you were looking for a ladder. I'm looking for a ladder! Okay. You don't see a ladder. Not openly. <laughs> what are you doing? Where do you look? <laughs> there is not a ladder hovering down from the, from the sky above you. Are you sure? Not presently. I'm gonna discern reality. Okay. I got a seven, eight, seven. Okay, so you can ask one question from a list that you should have. Um, I can tell you what the list is if you want. Where would I find a ladder? <laughs> so that may be too specific for discern realities, unfortunately. Where's the nearest place that would have a ladder? <laughs> you can ask, you know, what happened here recently, what's about to happen, what should be on the lookout for, what here is useful or valuable to you, who is really in control here, and what here is not what it appears to be. What here is not what it appears to be! Ah, that was why I did that one last. So on the side of the barn, there is what looks like a, a water tower structure next to, it, it goes up the side of the, the giant barn casino and there's some windows and stuff there. Uh, but you can see it's very subtly marked as a fire escape. And it, it looks like there is perhaps a collapsible ladder built into it. You fools! <laughs> fire needs no escape! <laughs> Uh, Let's try to jump and grab it. Hey, yeah. Gentlemen, like half the party has wings. <laughs> oh wait! Well, right. two fifths of the party has wings. I'm gonna try to fly up to it. Okay. I'm I mean, perhaps can... weighed down by my grandiosity. <laughs> you can flip and go by it and try to push it down. Um, well, that's the badonka donk. Or that's the badonka donk's honk. Or the honk's okay. badonka donk. Are you attempting to do so stealthily? How do you do this? Um, yeah, let's do it stealthily. Okay. Um... Do I want to... No, you... Okay. Yeah, it's fairly... It's fairly quiet. It's been well-oiled recently. You can oh successfully lower a ladder up to the second floor of the casino. It's not open yet, so it would be perhaps dangerous to wander around inside, but... Oh, time to you know wander that. around inside. You're a, you're a clever oh. goose. Time to wander around inside. Speaking That's of wandering around. That's legitimate. Uh, what if, I wasn't in, if I wasn't supposed to be here, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> okay. Mr. Macadamia, what are you up to? I'm maintaining concentration on my spell and waiting for the, uh, the front door to open so I can go into the breakfast buffet. Okay, so you're going to wait and just go in like an actual patron, not like a total weirdo breaking in the, the Well, that's the like a weirdo than I already am. Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> okay, that sounds good. So it won't be long before they open, and no, yeah, perfect. A, a I got couple time. of folks can, can help speed up the opening. I'm not uh, just sitting you... here concentrating on nothing. <laughs> are you doing the same, Era? Uh, I was actually gonna go around like a uh, and uh, talk to some of the bugs around the casino. Um, okay. Like a weirdo. Well, it sounds like a druid. Yeah. A, a very cute. Bug exactly. Druid. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, so you hop around. Yeah. Are you looking anywhere in particular? Probably like right, like <laughs> right by uh, by the wall. Right by the wall. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. like the side, like the side of the casino. You have a D four with you. I do. Roll it and tell me what you get. Okay. I like Don't to throw a random Whoop. in sometimes. Let's see Two. what genre of bug. Oh, one! Ha! Huh. Only okay. one! Okay, excellent. We'll get a throwback to, to a game from yesterday. There is a small beehive here that seems to be under construction. Mm -hmm. Oh! Ah, yes. I know that beehive. It's actually nestled up in under the, the water tower where a goose just lowered a ladder and then flew in a window. 
I don't know why there was a, a, a lower ladder, but. <laughs> Excellent. I will uh, try to speak with them. Okay. Hello. It's, it's, Buzz off, hey? <laughs> oh. oh. We're busy. Oh. Well, I can see that it, it, it is a, it's a, it's a lovely, lovely hive you have here uh, that's going up. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. A couple of them fly up to you. What do you want? Um, I was, I was just wondering if there was anyone who looked particularly um, suspicious around here last night. You look particularly suspicious right now. Oh, uh, do, do, do I? Yes. We're costing uh, the hive. I can't believe you would do this. Oh, I, I, but I, I wasn't planning on touching it. I just wanted to, to, hey, look, to look okay, at good. it. They mumble back and forth, and the mumble carries down down the chain of bees into the hive. The hive mumbles, and the mumbles back up towards them. Right, what do you want? Do you want someone else looking suspicious? Y yes, yes. Last That's night, right. when the sun was set. Last night, yes. We're not so great in the dark um but there there are always suspicious people around here leaving tasty snacks on the ground T tasty snacks yes you know crumbs um all sorts of things the other bugs really like them oh. that's why we're here there's so much going on no one will notice us oh. that's, and the flowers are so good. well fed here they're maintained um there there was a hmm they weren't watered last night. They're usually watered every night. That's suspicious. You should fix the flowers. You should water the flowers. Yes, you should water the flowers. And a, a large buzz erupts from the hive that says, water the flowers, bunny. <laughs> oh, okay. She's um actually just legit going to go off to that well and try to grab a bucket of water to water the flowers. We hop back into town to, to, to go water the flower in the flower garden. Yeah. Uh, as, as you are as you do, are doing so, you return the bees. The, the bees seem very satisfied. You, you you buzzed off and returned to to get some water. Um, but there there is a, a window into the the barn casino back here in the flower garden that looks like it's been braced open. Oh. I'm gonna take a look inside. Okay. It looks like it just goes into, I don't know, a, a staff room or something. You see a couple of familiar friends inside. Oh. Well, a familiar friend and an invisible friend. It's like, you see one floating tumbleweed. Friend. <laughs> 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 and, and a floating tumbleweed. I don't know how that's going to go go over, but at least people are, are somewhat busy this morning. <laughs> Speaking of folks inside, you, you're, you're peering in the window. What are the two of you doing? You've been led into a staff room. It looks like people are getting dressed, getting in costumes, getting fancy, getting prepared. A couple of people are like practicing their, their, their attempts to upsell drinks on each other. Uh, let's start to... I assume Freya is a, continuing to be a stealthy fox holding a, I mean, an invisible fox holding a hover tumbleweed. How do you justify the hover tumbleweed? I have many questions. <laughs> It's my own personal uh, mic. It amplifies my sound. I had a, a wizard put a, a spell on it. It's mine. Just to give it ah, a okay. dramatic flair. Very flare. fancy. It looks wizard. a bit crap, people say. <laughs> but it, it, it looks like you just lit a tumbleweed flame. on fire. They'll, they'll hear a muffled sound from the tumbleweed being like, You look a bit crap. <laughs> An enchanted tumbleweed. <laughs> it's also enchanted, too. It's, it's, it's How has, ludicrous. I practice. Practice my vocals with it. It's like my coach as well. One of the guards sticks their head in the door. No wonder you have fallen so far. <laughs> <laughs> An enchanted tumbleweed. What next? Oink off. Just oink off. The, the tumbleweed's going to float up next to uh, Marilyn <laughs> and it's going to go like, hey, don't let them get to you. You be you. You're living your best life. <gasps> What an encouraging tumbleweed <laughs> <laughs> says yet another hamster dressed like like they're a butler. Yes, 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 you're right. Let's, let's... Um, hmm, interesting. <laughs> so speaking of interesting things, one of you for some reason flew upstairs despite lowering a ladder and scoured your way into the second floor. So this window was just open. Mm. Mm. What do you what do up inside? here? 
The I'll second floor around. is slot machines as far as the eye can see. One moment, In fact, there's a mirror the at the other floor. end so that you just see slot machines again with a you standing there. Depending on the type of bird you are, hopefully you do not start pecking at the You! <laughs> Where have you been? I've been looking everywhere for you! So is the other one. They're so rude. <laughs> Me? What do you mean? I left a note! You never read my notes! <laughs> um, you, you, you hear the sound of footsteps approaching. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna take care of this, but don't go anywhere! And I turned to walk away. Hey! I said, don't go anywhere. <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> right. I'm gonna go go toward the guy with the footsteps. Uh, Finally! The footsteps uh, appear to belong to a, a turtle who is very slowly approaching with a, a little oh. like janitorial cart who looks extremely confused in your direction. Are you hiding? Or are you just like stomp out up. into the into the hallway? I'm just gonna walk up to him. Hello, Hello. he says. How are you? Good good job here. Uh, sticks, sorry about the his head the... out greatly from his shell. What are you doing here? Mm, isn't that the question? I mean, ever since yes? I was a gander, I always thought that I'd be doing great things, but now here I am at the Casino Corral! <sighs> but either a blessing the or a curse. Casino Corral is where great things are born. I was already born. He appears to be reading a script off, off something that's drawn on the bottom of his foot. <laughs> his hand foot. He's a turtle. <laughs> hmm. Um, and, and, and again, the, the, the casino is not open. Do I look like I'm here to gamble? Yes. Well. Wow. <laughs> uh, I actually don't have a response for that. That was very blunt. Um, oh, I will have to ask you to wait outside. I am here to see the management. Are you the management, sir? No. Who are you to lead by example, I cleaning the place? I am a janitor. Very slowly lumbering closer to you, getting a good look at you with one good squinty eye. Ah, uh, my friend. Uh, if perhaps? you wish to to speak to management, you will have to wait. Do you clean all the offices? Yes. It is very slow work. My voice yeah, is so long as it's slow. Thorough. I did not anticipate perhaps being a turtle a break. this long. <laughs> in fact, can you, my friend... I'm gonna look <laughs> him right in the eyes. There's one squinty eye. Hi. They were in the eye. Is there a My turtle friend! filter now? I gotta find one. Do you want me to wait until you have the turtle filter? No, it's okay. Keep going. My friend! What fuels the flame of your fire? And I'm gonna use, uh, give me fuel, give me fire. When you gaze intently into someone's eyes, you may ask the player, what fuels the flames of your desire? They'll answer with the truth, even if they don't know what it is. Sanitation. <laughs> We oh. need to kill the germs. Kill them all. Oh, the fuckers. You're right. Burn them! Uh, Query! Yes, you... yes, burn them with vinegar. Have you considered boiling? Yes. Most bacteria do not have an external carapace that can uh, survive temperatures above 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius. Of course, Those aren't the this same water thing, is but... very hot. Did you know that the water tower outside is a right place for bacteria? I, I cleaned do. it myself. It is but... troublesome. If only I was a turtle, I could get in there and clean at twice the speed of normal. Oh, you flatter me. Right, but if you wish to speak to management, you will have to wait for business hours. You should give me the keys. No. <laughs> I'll give you two gold. How sanitary is this gold? I'm gonna hold, pick up one of the gold and have it ignite in my hand. 
Oh, excellent. Make it ten, and then we can discuss. Mm, seven. Hmm. Deal. All right, I'll hand over seven gold pieces. I have ten, <laughs> so... Grandpa needs a new pair of shoes. Mm -hmm. He's going to wheel over to his slot machine and put one of them in. <laughs> oh, don't do... Oh, do... Well. I'm gonna wait but he see will, if he wins. He will throw you his, his janitorial key. <laughs> These are very responsible staff. <laughs> also, this conversation has taken like legitimately 20 something minutes. Time has passed. This is the slowest <laughs> turtle you have ever encountered. I was fast forwarding this conversation for brevity. Why give me the key? Yes. They kind of sounded like, why should I give you the key? You should give me the key because I'm going to go to the last lap. <laughs> Yes, Seven. that's an accurate impersonation of this conversation. Boy, but okay. on that note, thank you very much. And I'll walk off. The casino is going to open. Oh boy! What do you do? Are you going in? No, oh, time for breakfast. Time <sighs> for breakfast. Yes, that's absolutely true. Okay, so you're gonna go in and you're gonna go in and get some breakfast, some additional yep. breakfast. You have fish. You could put it on on the breakfast. Oh, absolutely. It's like the pickle on top of a burger. Oh, yeah. They definitely they definitely have, like, they know breakfast here. There's eggs from some someone, maybe. <laughs> this, I have so many questions about this setting. I will never, <laughs> never find answers for. And, and to be sure, are, to, to be clear, are I'm they aware that they are, they are answers, youth on their breakfast? But uh, most of the chefs here seem to be chickens. The same okay. with same with the restaurant staff, but they have eggs and bread and cheese. And and up so and many questions. Yo, are, does the cheese come from the breast milk of <laughs> our peers? <laughs> no, at no point did I want to know. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to ask that question. I realize uh, Havarti is like a, a cow milk cheese, isn't it? So that's like, a very French type of thing. Here. Very kinky. Maybe it's vegan. <laughs> Could be, could all be vegan cheese. Maybe it's all made from bug milk. I they think it's vegan eggs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> of course they're not vegan eggs, they're eggs. <laughs> oh, just double checking. It says a chicken. I can't believe you would ask that. That's oh, not true. Right. The, the chicken could be a vegan. What? Which came first, the vegan or the egg? They're farm fresh, I assure you. Yeah. From all the, they have a farm for these Personally? <laughs> You know what? Sure. That's that's what's happening here now. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I should start crossing my fingers for out of character for, for folks who are unfamiliar with that transition because I'm wearing bunny ears the whole time. It might be unclear. Uh, but sure, yeah, no, that sounds great. These, these chickens definitely are now responsible for the eggs, and this is a hellish setting that I will never think more in depth about. I can't believe that, that this is occurring. Michael? Oh, perfect. Make it a double. <laughs> <laughs> just a quick announcement, everybody. Michael just received three donations on Extra Life. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Well, we're, and, what were uh, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Four donations on Extra what? Life. Four donations? Wow. I, I guess I better try harder. Yeah. Yeah. Are they for anything this in is, particular? This is me. Uh, nope, I just get the text messages, so he'll have to check his account. Okay. okay awesome. Well, that's exciting. Well, thank you. Congratulations. You will scarf down on on a delicious, wholesome, healthy, and homemade breakfast <laughs> that I had many questions about. Um, Era, yeah. are you entering the casino now as a patron? Yes, I'll you probably. Befriended the bees. Uh, the bees may you. may love you forever. Sorry, what about the bees? The bees may love you forever. Oh, I friended them. Can I study their essence and add them? Add a bee to what I can turn into. Absolutely, freaking lutely. That awesome. would be beautiful. Nice. Beautiful. Okay. Um, I will enter as a patron. You are a patron. Nice. I'm you walk going in, to. You are. You are greeted by what looks like a very familiar face. How's it going, Meryl Cheap? <laughs> You're a greeter at a casino now. Yes, I am. Ah. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, you're, you're, you're here finally. Look at you entering like a patron, and I'm now just working, apparently. <laughs> I've been riddled. I've been called washed up. This was a mistake. This tumbleweed is very supportive, though, so this has been helping me. <laughs> oh, well, that's I nice. 
You um, might look over and notice that the tumbleweed's just lying on the ground now, immobile. <laughs> Uh -oh. Tumbleweeds lay, they never lie. They're always honest. So would you say that it's tumbled over? It's very yeah, tumbled. It's over. tumbled. Dun dun dun. <laughs> well, I'm um, uh, keep 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 up the good work. I'm gonna I sneak away at some point, but I'm people are generally very nice right now at the beginning of the day, so yeah, I'm enjoying the compliments and uh but uh, we should sneak around. I I'm an employee now, I guess, so maybe I can get some <laughs> access to things. Yes, that sounds good. Uh, keep me informed. I might, um, I, I might Sheep get beat good work. soon. Okay. Yeah. Actually, on, on inspection, there do seem to be a couple of bees hanging out with, with Era. Oh, oh, those are your friends now? They're just yes. chilling. <laughs> they can, like, they can, like, get on my flowers. Yeah, oh. they're very excited about the flowers. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, made some friends. Yeah, um, if you see anyone else, I'm keeping a lookout. I don't know where the goose is, but um, I, I'm sure he's coming in like a normal person. Like, who would do something strange and sneak into the casino? Yeah. Like, that was a very silly thing. So it should be walking through at any moment. I'm keeping my eyes out for him. And Inevitable, I'm sure, yes. I didn't I see saw, him outside, but yeah. I saw Jasper go in for want. breakfast. Oh. So you may want to go and meet up there and discuss a plan. and. Mm -hmm. yeah. We could meet up and discuss weekend. plans over breakfast. Yeah. So, Bryn, I heard that there there may be a, an absent tumbleweed. You know. <laughs> where has where has the tumbleweed <laughs> rolled off to? Well, the tumbleweed's still there. Where have you rolled off to? <laughs> I think Freya's just like probably How kind of wandering. How long does visibility last? Yeah, it's a great uh, question. As long as I concentrate on it, so not cast okay. anything else. Oh, okay. So you can just keep it up. This sounds good. Yep. Um, Freya's probably just like wandering the building. Um, yeah. I, I don't know, like, if looking for the thing is the right word, but I think if she found it, she'd be like, oh, hey. <laughs> you're sort of trying to get, like, a, a lay of land and wander around and stuff? No, so, I, I think mean, I, I can <laughs> use this opportunity to invent a description for, for the casino a little bit here. So so the first floor is a, a wide open space, and that's where you're, you're you know, there's the restaurant and the bar are here, um, as well as the stage and, and all of that set up. And there are a couple of, like, poker tables and things set up here. Uh, on this floor, it looks like there's also um, like staff rooms and staff areas and a, a giant double door that says exclusive above it in magical text. Uh, that must be where the, the famous pig poker game is played. The second floor is all slot machines, as far as the eye can see. And actually, there's just tons of geese flooding up to the second floor right now to start pecking at slot machines. Um, it's like a horde of them like modeled the... in when the door opened. They're all grandmother geese. Is the door to the exclusive area like closed or is it just like an archway you can walk through? It is closed. All of these doors are closed. Okay. Uh, Freya is probably going to try and get through there because there's sparkling letters above it. There are. <laughs> very like. Okay. Uh, so you, you can meander up to the door. It seems pretty secured. Like a, it is a solid, a solid piece of <laughs> gander of these grandmothers. Uh, <laughs> you know, one of so it's fine. Uh, so the, the door does seem shut if you lean on it, trying to stealthily open the thing. And uh, there's uh, definitely some kind of a, a lock or a latch on it, but you do hear voices on the other side. You can't quite make out what they're saying from here, though. Okay. Um, are there like any other like maintenance doors or anything that it looks like might go in the same direction? Uh, the staff area is next to this. Okay. I think she might, like, wander through there and see if she can get to the exclusive okay. area. So it has another closed door on it. It looks like there's a key on this lock. Okay. I can pick locks. Yeah, you could certainly try to pick it. Uh, uh okay. Do... That's a, oh, let's see that. It's a nine. So close. Okay. So what is the what is the lock pick maneuver? Because I think you have a specific um, question, don't you? So I pick the lock, but you give me two options between suspicion, danger, or cost. Let's do suspicion or danger. Uh what's the difference between those two things? You'll find out. 
<laughs> uh, let's do danger. Freya likes to live dangerously. <laughs> danger, okay. This is the easiest lock you have ever picked. 10 out of 10 security of this casino, obviously. Lock pick goes in, you get everything on the first bump. This is going so smoothly, it's amazing. You let your guard down a little bit. Um, and then a, a burst of flame is going to shoot out of the lock as it unlatches in your direction. What do you do? Um, get hit with a burst of flame or try and move. <laughs> you you could attempt to defy the danger. Okay. I will allow you to do this thing. Oh, snap. Well, well, 14, actually. Okay, yeah. Oh. So you definitely duck out of the way from the thing. Very nice job. It's a huge blast of flame shoots out of the lock and an alarm starts going off. <laughs> Well, but I picked danger, not suspicion. And I was not suspicious. <laughs> There's nothing on you here. You're still invisible. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll go through the door uh, as people are probably coming running out of it. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, a couple of, of, of pinky security guards shove the door open and start staring around looking. You can creep inside. Okay. We will return to you in a moment. <laughs> Monsieur Honk, what are you doing upstairs? There's now so many geese. And that one goose who looks similar to you is very rude. And now there's so many geese. Yeah, what's he doing? <laughs> yep, time to open some doors. I'm gonna open every door with these keys that I can. Okay, so it, it, it would certainly get you into the staff area downstairs. All right, I'm gonna go uh, to the, the staff door, area. However, if you if you pop pop downstairs, that door is presently open, and there's like pig security guards running around angrily in its general vicinity, um, and the the smell of sulfur or something. You could slip in. Ah, beautiful. I'll just walk in. <laughs> you can just walk in. Do, 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 do. Hello. Chills. Hello. <laughs> yeah, doors open means they must want me in here. Otherwise, they shut the door. Oh, but I don't want anyone in here. I'm gonna shut the door and lock it behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. Uh, so inside here, um, there are all sorts of several areas. And actually, Brent, I'm realizing you've been to some of this area before because the staff room is back here. Hmm. This is where, where you were helping uh, Mer Meryl Sheep get ready and prepared for, for staff adventures. Uh, but there are many rooms back here that you have not explored. So. Are Kelly and I in the same room now? You are now in the same hallway, but I, I do not believe that Monsieur Donc knows this. There are many rooms to open. <laughs> Jangle the keys. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I'll probably creep up to him and whisper in his ear, May the flame be with you. Ah, and also with you. Wait, who said that? <laughs> <laughs> you don't sound like the sacred flame. He has a lisp. May the flame be with you. Oh. And also okay. with you. So I recognize that there was power in you from the beginning with your flame red hair, oh foxy lady. Wait, are you invisible, or am I just... Do I have something in my eye? Maybe yeah. a little bit of both? <laughs> okay. I will leave you to continue your flaming hot conversation. Uh, for those Holy of caliente. you who are perhaps getting breakfast, what are you up to? You're just getting breakfast? You do anything else? Would be our, our wizardy friend here. Well, I'm just enjoying the sights of all of the patrons and checking out the lay of the land. See if... Uh, <laughs> and, there's a good escape route or something. Ah, uh, there are windows here that you can totally leap out of. There's one hmm. particularly prominently placed, it looks like, from the kitchen area to, to the back of the, the barn casino. Oh, um, the chicken is going to tell you an awful lot about how locally sourced all of the cheese and everything is here, um, very, very proudly. They get the cheese from it's real It's very place. important. In yeah. fact... I'm a little too interested in exactly how we are eating eggs from chickens, but... I also have many questions that I will yeah. not answer. <laughs> I don't want to wake the universe. <laughs> you know what? It's probably just from... Maybe in this universe there are chickens, and then there are, like, mini chickens that are just like a normal chicken to us. Well, they just, like, pop out eggs and hang out. Uh, arguably, my alignment says I'm supposed to discover something about a magical mystery, so... You know, chicken or the egg. You know what? Actually, this is now a mystery. You have no idea how these eggs came into being. Um, it's really kind of tickling my brain cells. But, but because this is fun, they do seem distinctly magical in nature. What, the eggs or the chickens? The eggs. 
The, oh, it's a magic egg. I have a new absolutely terrible idea, and this is your fault entirely. <laughs> it seems like, uh, Here we it go. Seems like a high-level spell. Magic Create egg eggs. <laughs> yep, carry on. Go hungry. I should we switch okay. this spell. So scarfing down and having an amazing breakfast, getting the lay of the land. Uh, for our, our bard and druid, what are the two of you up to? You gonna go gambling? I, no, assume not. I, <laughs> I mean, I'm on the clock, apparently. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, we could go. Okay, I so maybe to, Arrow I... first. What do, oh, sorry, I have sorry, I have a thought for, for the bard. Apologies. Okay. So Arrow, what are you up to? Oh, um, I'm actually probably gonna duck into the washroom and uh, shapeshift. Okay, into that a sounds like a good idea. You turn into a bee. You have a couple of bee buds. They hang out with you. Yay! You're, you're a group of three bees. I'm so, I am three bees. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you are the better now, beesness bureau. <laughs> I'd like to use the shapeshifter move though. Um, yep. which, let me try it. Oh. Well, I like that idea. So that was a we'll seven. Uh, seven. What? Okay. So what are what are the options on shape shift? Oh, actually, sorry. Oh, that was a six. So that was not. So oh great. well, but mark XP. Still, oh, thank you. It. Uh, I still get to hold one though. In addition to whatever you say. <laughs> okay. Let me hold unquote. Pull this one up here. <laughs> do, do, do. Hold one in addition to whatever the GM says. Okay. Yeah. So it basically. I get to spend so one hole to make you can a still move. Do it. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> you. Right, so mark XP. Um okay. you transform into a bee. You smell Thanks. distinctly delicious. I I smell delicious? You smell delicious. You smell like fresh baked bread. Okay. I'm gonna uh, fly around and uh, try to also get the lay of the land. Okay, you fly around trying to get the lay of the land. Every time you pass a bird, they seem really interested in you. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna give a wide berth around uh, anything that would maybe like to eat a bee. Although oh, they're gonna get a rude surprise. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you're you're particularly good smelling bees. They they seem quite interested in you. We'll see how that goes. Ooh. Speaking of seeing how things go, uh, so Miss Cheap, you are going to be sort of poked at by an aide. Say, um, management requests. Are, are you the the new Bray? I assume. Yes, yes, yes. Are you I am. the jangly thing? Uh, management requests your presence. Okay, I guess they, they have so. an announcement to make. Ah, okay. Yes. Oh, uh, yes. Take me to them. Show me where they are. I'm still new. Don't know where. Right, I'm right, right. Them. Excellent. So we'll we'll lead you over to towards the staff area. The two of you who are who are in the staff area hallway, uh, one of the doors will slam open, and the buffest donkey you have ever seen is going to storm directly for for the, the the entrance to the main casino, not turning in your direction whatsoever. Uh, but this guy is swollen enough that it is difficult for him to fit through a door. Storms down the hallway in a very um, ill-fitting suit, to be honest. Shoves the door open that has has been locked. It is damaged and how this was a mistake. And and he, he stomps off towards the the uh, the special room. Hmm. And he he's going to come meet you here, Meryl. I have a voice for this guy. No, I don't. He's just he's just like this. Never mind. So the the aide brings you up to the aide. I think is a doc. Uh, brings you up to the buffest donk you have ever seen who is just staring at you like he can see into your soul. It is alarming. He doesn't blink. He's, the eyes are on either side of his head and somehow they're still looking right at you. Well, aren't Hello. you quite an ass? Yes, I am. <laughs> Wonderful to meet you. I assume you are the new hire or something. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Great. We have an announcement to make. We had an early morning game. Mm -hmm. um, second place is to be hung in the in the middle of the casino. I just want to to gather an audience. If you could let them know. 
Yes, yes, yes. I, I can do that. For As you. is the no nature of the game. If you're unfamiliar, the the winner, of course, is you know given whatever their heart desires. Mm-hmm. Uh, second place dies. Yes, yes, and this yes. This unfortunate goose is cooked. Mm, yes. Yeah. Right. If goose. you wanted to prepare the casino. Yes, 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 yes. Could goose, use the audience. Goose. Yes, of, yes. Course, of course. I will, I'll, I'll go gather everyone. Uh, you will go bang, bang, bang uh, on the door and yell through for for the gods to prepare the victim. All right, go back to the casino. Who do they get sacrificed to? Snuffles, god of chance. There we go. Snuffles, god of chance. Yes, yes, Snuffles. That sounds good. That sounds good. Okay, so how do you rile up a crowd? I think I just start. Um, I wait. Let me. Let me I could, I could turn it up to eleven. <laughs> you could turn it up to eleven. Um, well, that would make things people attack each other. That could be fun. I could turn it up to eleven to get a little chaos going, a little chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> when you unleash a crazed performance. Choose a target who can hear you and roll charisma on a 10 plus. The target attacks the nearest ally in range. <laughs> on the seven to nine, they attack their nearest ally, but you also draw their attention and ire. Okay. So I'm gonna see if I can make the, the donkey attack an employee. Oh yeah, yes. that might not even set off any alarm bells. He just yeah. seems like he might do that anyway. He might just hit someone. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I'm just gonna grab my uh, my ukulele and uh, start just drumming along, belching top of Meryl's lungs. <laughs> that sounds good. So you, I, I think you can certainly get the the attention of everyone in the casino. Those mm-hmm. of you who are in the casino, there is now a song being played. What do you communicate through the song other than "Hey donkey, punch that guy," which will happen in a moment? Yes. Um, I will communicate. Attention, there is a performance by me. I'm the best bard in the world, but also someone's going to die. A standing <gasps> ovation. Standing ovation. Yes, absolutely. Wait, no, At do the, the song first. The announcement that someone is going to die, all the nice old lady geese upstairs honk in excitement and start shuffling down. And so for, for this, this causing a ruckus, do you have to roll for that? How does this yes, work? Yes, yes. I have, have the bird roll. sheet open. I, I remember that you do, so. I roll and then add my charisma. And if it's 10, then the donkey will attack without them realizing I'm doing it. If it's a seven to nine, they will realize that I'm okay. doing something. Well, so. I wish you luck. Harry yep. Dorseman is his name, and he is not tame. Well, I rolled a 10 just on my dice, so then that's a 12. Okay. Oh, the melody up. echoes around. The, that's really quite a nice acoustics here here in the, the casino corral. Mm-hmm. Uh, as he hammers on the door, it opens, and a, a small group of the pig guards seem to be dragging a, a goose outside. He looks like a sort of an old man goose in a little vest. Uh, he is honking in terror. Um, the the donkey seems to get very excited and yells, yeah, and just annihilates a pig by punching him in the face. Can it please uh, the be other pig that was insulting? Do not me? react. One of them just takes that pig's place, looks a little concerned, uh, and they they escort the the goose into the middle of the casino. Mm. What are the rest of you doing? I guess, do we notice that there's a ruckus going on up there? There is some kind of ruckus going on, uh, basically on the other side of the wall from you, and um, a giant donkey just stormed out and broke the door that you snuck through. Um, Actually, you can probably see through it now, because it's just sort of hanging there, partially attached to it. Where do you think he came from? The gym? (laughs) Is there a gym here? Um... (laughs) Can Freya use this as an opportunity to try and get into the exclusive area? Is it like a sufficient distraction? Uh, Actually, I will say a lot of the noise sounds like it is coming from around the door to the exclusive area. Also, this donkey burst out of a door in here that you have not opened yet. You can check either of them. Okay. I want to go through that door. She'll go that way. Oh, Freya! So, which door are you going into? Towards exclusive area or towards staff area? Right yes. <laughs> you I can stick know. your head gonna... into the staff area and see what it looks like and then run off to the exclusive area. Yeah. I didn't decide what my dice would mean before I rolled it. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> so 
at a glance, the this staff area looks like a very st strange but large round room. Um, it has three desks in it, one especially ostentatious one and two slightly less ostentatious ones. Uh, sitting in the especially ostentatious one is a very large pig in a meticulously well-kept white suit who looks like he's reading something and smoking a giant pipe. Uh, there's no one else in the room and there's something weird about the floor here. You What's stay weird about around and linger, risking discovery if someone should have some <laughs> kind of magical abilities. Or do you rampage off to see what's in the exclusive area? Can I see the golden hamster in there anywhere? You do not see any sort of golden artifact as constructed by the ancient dwarf hamsters of lore, no. But okay. you know that there is supposed to be a vault here somewhere, that it's in the vault. Oh, are there any other doors in this room? Uh, this room does not appear to have any other doors, but I will okay. say something about the floor is feeling weird to you. Okay. It looks unstable, honestly. Um, well, I can check for crabs. Sure, yeah, do that. That would be specifically appropriate. So spend a moment to survey a dangerous area. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's weird. Uh, a plus two, ten. Hold three. Oh, snap! <laughs> Sorry, what'd you get? Uh, I got hold three. Um, I got Me, a 10. Okay. Um, is there a trap here? And if so, what activates? So I'm going to say it's not a trap. You can still identify a mechanism. Okay. Um, it appears that the floor moves and it looks like okay. it is activated uh, by some kind of mechanism at the desk with the very fancy pig. Okay. Um, and then what else is hidden here? What else is hidden here? Um weapons um, okay. next to one of the desks there is a very shoddily covered large pile of weapons just with a towel over it it looks like maces and things um i'm gonna right. go and like try and get henry to come over be like okay i'm looking at the desk Raya, are you there Raya, let's hi where are you I'll kind of like, I'm gonna take like Henri and kind of drag him. So ah! my fang fell out. <laughs> so he's standing in front of the door. Oh, You're like, getting dragged by an invisible force, possibly the holy flame, you never know. So like the door, like. Oh, well, you'll, you'll hear a whisper that says, come make friends. Sticking your head in. Okay, this feels like a defy danger. This might be a particularly observant pig. I'm not trying to be stealthy about it. Okay, you're yeah, sticking your head in? So. I'm just like, Hello. I, I'm trying to looks up from from whatever he, he's reading and stares at you. Puffs on a big old cigar. I'm trying to use his book. Do you need a uh, light? <laughs> Can looks I use you Henri? again and, and shows that the cigar is lit already? Ah. Makes a weird face, snorts, and returns to his book. That's fair. Um, excuse me. Uh, I'm wondering. Do you? Uh, is this the security office? He's gonna hit a little thing on his desk. It looks like some kind of a bug and it goes Wah! and squeaks out this little buzzing alarm noise. Um, and then I'm a door in the hallway behind you will open. And a, a, a goose is approaching actually from behind. She looks extremely fancy. Wow, you're a fancy goose. Uh, you, Yes, and you're a goose who is loose. How can I help you? She is uh, yes. a, a very distinctive thing at this moment is that her, her wings seem to be inside the very fancy dress that she's wearing, but there is still what appears to be some sort of magical book hovering next to her that she's reading from. Well, it's a lovely book. What is it? Um, the spells that I'm going to use on you if you don't explain why you're here. They know I'm here. I'm the vault inspector. The Vault Inspector. Vault! I'm not right. the Vault Inspector. I don't expect electricity, lady. Look, I'm here to inspect the vault. That's why I'm paid. I'm going I, to. I uh, see. This is her idea, by the way. I'm gonna. I'm gonna use Firebrand to try to make her think that this was her idea. Okay. <laughs> we we can attempt this. <laughs> uh, that's an eight. On, okay. an, on a seven to nine, 
<laughs> the bug that goes, Wah! it's a buzzer. The passion fades after a day or two. Damn, this is good. That is super good. Yeah, this is really broken. I love it. Let's do it. <laughs> I mean, at least you're, you are right that the vault probably does need inspection. But I, I, I mean, you can supervise if you'd like, but it's, it's my job. Why I do you think I wear this? I, I believe that, that I was buzzed here to supervise your presence. Hmm. Oh, I also wanted to drop these off. I'll hold up the keys. Uh, someone drop them. I worry that they might uh, cause some trouble. If anybody, if they got into the they wrong hands. They will hover from your hands towards her and she'll hmm. look at them closely. Interesting. Hmm. Where did you get these? I found them in the hallway when I was coming through. The staff let me in to go inspect the vault. Head office said I had an appointment today? Was that was not translated up the chain? Ooh, very tempted to make you start rolling something, but I won't at this point. Uh, right, I'm going to have to ask you to return to the casino. At least for the moment, while we sort all of this out. But please do not bother Mr. Snowball again without an appointment. Who's Mr. Snowball? The, the... The... The pig? The boss. You were just staring in his office. The... the come come this way. Come on, sir. You, you feel a, many of the a, a telepathic force sort of holding you around the side as if Ooh. someone put an arm around you. Oh, that's... Okay. Wait, Snug! And what is your name, my lady? One second, just chatting with with Zoom Zoom chats. Uh, Zoom Gloria chat. Gloria Guzman. Ah, Gloria Armed Guzman. Oh, of the West Haven geese gandas. Yes, of course. Oh. You seem That's very familiar to me for some reason. I'm very familiar to a lot of geese if they'll let me. I see. <laughs> Interesting. Perhaps I'll buy you a drink <laughs> at the bar, and you can tell me what you desire. A little masquerade mask is going to fly up from, from behind her and settle in front of her eye, and she makes a little cute face at you. We shall see. Yes, I'm not I on shift yet, so may as well. Ah, well, I, I, you know, and... I, I apologize. I did not introduce myself. My name is Henry de Honk. Oh, the, how wonderful to meet you. I've heard great things about your family. Mm, yes, yes, yes. You yes. will wander off with, with you towards the, the casino. Freya, what are you up to? Are you going to hang out in this room or are you going to go check out the exclusive area? Um, I'm going to go boop the pig on the snoot <laughs> with my poison. Yes, this is the okay. way. <laughs> we, we may have to return to you in a moment here. Okay. <laughs> uh, for, for those of you who, who are returning to the casino area, um, I will not describe this too in depth because I want to take a little bit of a break here and this seems like a, a good time for it. Um, but with great pomp and ceremony, the pigs will blare a little trumpet and a screaming <laughs> and terrified goose is going to be executed in the middle of the, the casino to uproarious applause. Oh, another goose. <laughs> oh yes, she says. He should have quit while he was ahead in the game. It's tragic, really. Something about feeding his family. Well, now he'll feed our patrons. Oh boy, I'm gonna stay around for dinner. <laughs> do you, do the you winner, however, the winner is. Oh my gosh, you should see how rich that cow is. She is loaded now. You should enter if you if you're feeling particularly dangerous. All of the most dangerous men in my in my life have, have entered the Great King. But it's up to you. And we should take a small break here for five minutes. Mm. We have we have a terrifying execution in the middle of a casino. We have someone booping a pig in the snoot, which may go poorly. Uh, and we have flirtatious geese. This is a bizarre game. I'll see y'all in like five minutes, okay? Bye. Bye. Let's go do bathroom breaks and things. Okay, so we are on the beer at back screen, which means that I can go. Yeah. Bathroom. Our audio is still open, right? Oh my god. Is audio still open? Oh yeah, audio is still on. Okay, I just wanted to, to make sure you were okay wearing that the whole time because you seem like Ooh. you're gonna melt. It's mostly the, the gloves are real rubber, so. Okay. I'm bug fine. that goes wah. I really want a bug that screams when I poke it. I think that would be really nice. Wah. Wah. <laughs> uh, no, this is fun. I it's good to be able to see for a moment. I think we're we're about to to head into total disaster territory. You're being if very I'm, cautious as a group. I didn't expect this level of cautiousness. I'm literally the least cautious character ever. I know. <laughs> 
This is the emulator. Such a weird class. It's like a chaos fire bard. You're you're like a a sorcerer cleric. Like I was I wasn't sure how to play this, um, but I think well, I'm. The holy spreading, fire is a good take on it. Spread a dangerous new idea. Yeah, that it's, sounds good. I like I like the firebrand approach. Okay, I gotta run to the washroom. Yeah, I gotta run to the restroom. Continuing too. to uh, do this because that's so, uh, about to get totally. You go to the bizarre. washroom. I'm gonna keep talking to the chat while you're away. That sounds good. We can tag it. <clears throat> BRB. Hello, chat. How's it going? Voice of God here, telling you that you should donate to Extra Life. It doesn't have to be the Dorktales Extra Life, but hey, it'd be cooler if it was. Go to extra-life.org slash team slash Dorktales to donate to the Extra Life team. Uh, and if you can hear in the background, that is the dog of God. And the partner of God, who's just wearing a towel. Hi, how's it going? Yes. Did, you, did you get out of the shower? Yeah. Nice. Hey, puppy, come here. Come here, puppy. Come here, puppy. His tail is a lethal weapon. Anyway, uh, so if you have the extra funds in your hands right now, or, you know, in the virtual currency that we all use since money is meaningless, uh, go to extralife.org, donate to kids, because every dollar that you spend goes directly into the hands of the BC Children's Foundation. The BC Children's Hospital is a wonderful organization that has helped many people on this stream. So if you've enjoyed... Uh, basically, any programming that Dork Tales does, it has benefited directly from BC Children's by allowing us to have amazing people on our team who might not be here without the help of BC Children's. Help other dorks grow and uh, play games and do cool stuff in the future by making sure that their childhood is helped by the BC Children's Hospital. And, hey, you know what? If you're uh, if you're completely loaded and you want to do something that de benefits the channel, you can always give us a, uh, a subscription here on Twitch. You can give us a subscription on uh, YouTube, which is significantly cheaper. Uh, or you can, uh, if you're feeling really spicy, you can go to patreon.com slash dorktales and help support the stream and buy new equipment. Since, uh, since we're doing everything distance, um, we do tend to have to uh, front money for everybody to have cameras and audio equipment and stuff and you know for those of us who aren't of the financial backing to support something like that we you know we try to help each other out so be good to have you there but you know what the kids are first so if your funds are limited and you've only got a couple bucks go ahead throw them at the kids it's gonna do them more good than us probably uh at the very least though give us a follow and uh, let us know what you think in the comments because we are doing our best to make this a fun experience if you're looking forward to what's coming next, at uh, this game wraps in two hours at 1 p.m. At 1 p.m., then, we are going into a raffle. So if you've donated anything uh, since the beginning of September, or in the last couple of days especially, you will have a chance to win some really cool items that are coming your way. Uh, there are raffles at 1 to 1.10 p.m., roughly, basically right at the beginning of our intermission, and right at the end of our intermission. So you have two chances to win, and a third this evening. Between those two chances to win this afternoon, though, we are going to be playing Among Us, where you can watch us kill each other, which is something you always have wanted. And then at 3 o'clock, we are going to be uh, going into Demon the Descent, which is being ran by me, and starring a number of my closest friends. And then, uh, small intermission, and we're ending tonight with uh, good old Amy uh, running a Dungeons and Dragons epic called Dead and Breakfast, where we go and have a nice mm -hmm. relaxing vacation at a B&B &B where nothing goes wrong, I'm sure. Uh, so that's going to be it from me, the voice of God, and let me turn it over Hello. to Millie. I'm the voice of goblins. How are y'all doing? Hi. Well, I have no idea what was talked about while I was absent, but... I hope that you've been enjoying Super Chill Sleepy Time game to start the morning off. I'm going to start slowly escalating the, the chaos as you dig further into this casino. I think that's going to be a mess. But we, we have two two of the players here with me. What are you two up to? What are you, what are you plotting and scheming? Where do you think this is going to go? I think it's going to be chaos. I don't know what to expect. I think it's going to, going to end in... Uh... Nerbold the Goblin. I, I have a prediction. And I feel like writing it down, but I think if I write it down, then it's going to turn into a thing that happens because I have the power of the DM. So I'm going to try not to, to make it too too predicted. But it's a very Ooh. silly prediction. We'll, we'll have to see how, how that goes. I'm loving this style of play because I've only just done D&D. &D. 
recently mm-hmm. this year. So this I is felt just... for 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 the first game of a Saturday morning, especially because all of you are four hours behind me out here on the East Coast. I, I wanted to do something pretty chill where you you can input as much as you want to. Yeah, it's definitely fun. more narrative, which I really appreciate. It feels uh-huh. feels less dice controlled and more just kind of go with the flow. Yeah, exactly. The the play to find out what happens is the core of it, right? And and because of that, like the the pace of something like this is up to all of us, really. Like as a DM, I certainly have more power. I can just like start throwing weird shit at you if I want to, but I kind of have to justify it in the rules on my end because I have rules that that dictate how I can throw stuff into the narrative too, right? Yeah, no, I think it, I think it's a cute way to run stuff. There's another game in this that's called Godsend, which has no dice rolls at all. Which I'm struggling to figure out a good way to do online because a, a central piece of it is a map, mm. and it just looks amazing. It's another Power by the Apocalypse game uh, where you're playing sort of um, if you're familiar with Nobilis, you're playing Nobilis style god characters, like you know you're just a, a pantheon of gods, and then also sort of the chosen hero of another god, like another player. And the sort of that that negotiation that goes on through the eras as the world comes to an end over a period of several hundred years. Hmm. And the the conflict and the the narratives and the giant overarching stories that happen there are all like quite quite small in the the grand scheme of how long it takes to to play stuff. Uh, You just go through everything and between each game the world map changes. So you have as a central piece of this game like there is a map that's changed as you go through. And you can look at it of all the different stages and sort of get like a, a view back into the history of all these cute little stories that you sold together over your sessions in it. But getting a, a map that I that I like makes it challenging to run as a as a remote group. So we'll have mm-hmm. to we'll have to see. Actually, I'm gonna be right back. I need some water. I've had yeah, yeah, coffee, go for it. You all have such <laughs> such toasty looking costumes. <laughs> it's actually cold. You're me, molting. I am. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a disaster. My desk is a disaster. That's ridiculous. I thought I was. Gonna I do do feel like I have some regret that I didn't dress up more, but but I, it's warm here. <laughs> we have the heat on directly above me. Like I don't want to wear. My, my top is actually made out too. of reclaimed quilts that were all cut Ooh, up. And I really into. like that. That's a cute outfit. Yeah, it's pretty adorable. Yeah. And it's very warm and very autumny because it has like embroidered leaves and stuff on it. So. Okay. I feel like, like for the return, perhaps I should be the moon. Ooh. Oh, you are the moon. It could be that's, the terrifying narrative moon. That's, yeah, that's quite this terrifying, is, is, actually. It's, 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 <laughs> it's a definite change of pace. It is a definite change of pace. Well, I think I'll have to switch to it at some point. We'll see. So there's a, a terrifying alternate face that I can apparently put on with this this program that I'm using to get by. When, when chaos so takes over, the, the moon rises. But you're you're the chaos. The level of chaos is up to all of y'all. <laughs> oh, it's going to happen. <laughs> and I think it's, it's about to happen. to occur through the power of booping a snoop. So. <laughs> and a and a bee posse. Uh-huh. Come in. And particularly delicious smelling bee posse. <laughs> I really was tempted to make you roll defy danger, but I'm like, there's no outcome of that that's gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll see. Bees? That may that may still happen, but we'll find out. Yes, we're being a particularly delicious looking bee. In oh, a, I see. In a completely goose and duck filled casino. This is true. <laughs> well, there is a cat, so you know. There is a cat too. Yeah, that could be a challenge. Uh, I want to check something on a thief character sheet. Do do do. Yeah, I don't have to roll to apply poison, fun fact. No, you just boop them. It just works. Yeah, boop the shit. Well, you get it instead of damage, right? Like your poisoner is a cute um, thing. What? I think poisoner is a really cute thing to have because you, you get to choose, right? Yeah, you can pick. You can do regular or... poison or you can do oil of tagit. Where they, yeah. they fall Sorry into a light sleep. Leg. And I, well, I'm definitely ignoring the, the light in that sleep and putting them into more of a real actual sleep. But because it's more entertaining that way, <laughs> to what? me, at least, which is what I go for. I like to entertain myself. The golden root, I think, is my favorite one. That was, <laughs> yeah. was a little bit OP last time, though. The what? Uh, the poison that I used for the last game. Which yeah, was, the oh, one that, yeah. that we just sort of decided ended the world, basically. Yeah, the trusted yeah. ally one. 
Well, when yeah. you make like what is it like basically Making the grim friends reaper? with death's lawyer yeah right what? <laughs> yeah. It's very oh, and, and then you also convinced him that the the king of the country that you're in was cheating death and was supposed to be dead because you tried yeah. to assassinate him, <laughs> he killed him. Uh, so he <laughs> kind of went on a yeah it was bad world ended good times and now you're here maybe <laughs> No, to gone. cause more I'm now definitely picturing some like slightly chaotic god up there just like springing your character full formed into reality whenever there needs to be like a little bit of a toss up <laughs> okay are we feeling ready to return into the casino corral mm -hmm. absolutely okay <laughs> Let me know when Ready you to go? are prepared, Kelly. Yeah, are you going to wear that the rest of the time, too? I'm an actor! Okay, excellent. Acting. Good luck. Try not to melt. You sound like the voice, like the announcer voice from <laughs> Legend of Korra. Oh, <laughs> I feel like I'm voiced by Alan Tudyk. <laughs> yeah, I can <laughs> like, has gosh, anyone, have, yeah. have any of you ever seen Doom Patrol? Yes. I basically am Mr. Nobody. <laughs> Oh, look at these rubes! Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep, totally. Oh, why are the um, rubber gloves the hardest thing to put back on? Cause... Because they're powerful! Yep. They're actually quite it's powerful. It's, it's, it's a good look. You gotta, you gotta suffer for fashion. That's how it works. Oh, my nose itches. This is the worst. Suffer for your art. <laughs> mm -hmm. Absolutely. You've made my morning, Kelly. I just laugh every time I look at you. You make my morning, Robin. Yeah, I was oh. not expecting the the goose costume to be a, a spooky time doctor. I was curious what you were gonna do. Good, good, good. <laughs> this is all beak, baby. It was all the way to the tip. Oh wow, that's that's pretty big beak. Perhaps Miss Gooseman will be impressed. It's none of it's prosthetic. <laughs> I can guarantee. Just shut shut the lights off before we begin. Okay. <laughs> I feel like before we get going, I need to draw attention to my mug, which is like super on brand. Oh, for oh, fuck's sake! It's really cute. It's cute. For fuck's sake! I, I don't know. We're we're visible now, aren't we? So we can do that. We are visible now. I'll draw attention that. to my mug. Mine's just oh. a, a it's mysterious mug. It's not that exciting. This is it's water, not... I swear, or it's vodka. You know, one of the two. Yeah. It's yeah. what? Take a guess. <laughs> I did both product placement, so I'm not doing it. Vodka. Yeah, I can't. I fear There's like product placement for a video game could be worse. Like it's not like I have branded beverages or something. Camille, I've <laughs> determined there's a problem with this layout. Huh? <laughs> Do you need to like slowly dip right. your head each time? I'm not sure yeah. how you're gonna do this. I wish you luck. Yeah, do the thing where you tip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have a really, a really it's long drinking straw the water. that you can put in there. You should get a crazy straw. Oh, well, there we go. Really ones. No, I'm the sanest one here. Uh, <laughs> yes, I don't of course, know, absolutely. Speaking of totally just... reasonable decision making, why don't we return to this? So in this moment, a snapshot of time, a goose has just been executed in the middle of the casino to uh, uproarious applause. The great game continues, chants the audience excitedly, uh, and the door to be the exclusive area is open. Those of you who can see inside see a very ostentatious looking poker tail with gold trim. Uh, on the other side of it is a cow literally being bathed in what looks like flakes of gold right now. The, the staff are like fluffing it off on her. Um, and she seems to be having a really, really good time. Th this is what happens when you win the, you win the great game. One of you, however, has made the brilliant decision to invisibly sneak up to a pig, to boop them in the snoop and try to put them to sleep in a giant complicated mechanism room where the mechanism is controlled by the, the desk that the, the pig is sitting at. So how do you do this? Do you sneak up to them and just go a boop? And see yeah, what happens. That's exactly what I do. <laughs> you have to then go a boop and see what happens. I would like to roll a d4 for cardinal. You you know what? You roll a d4. Cardinal directions. Tell me what you get. I roll a d4. Uh, I have to get one out. I'm going to tell you more details as you walk up here, too. Uh, three. Got a three? Okay. So if I go one. Okay. This is 
this is gonna be a disaster excellent uh so you, you, you approach the desk uh you you first pass the two smaller de desks there's the one with the stack of poorly disguised weapons next to them and it has a little tag there that says mr horseman management you pass another desk it's a, another desk it says miss gooseman manager and then the last biggest most ostentatious deck with a deck i keep saying deck desk with with this pig sitting at it just says mr snowball no tagline on it you crawl up onto the desk i assume to to reach the snoop he's a particularly large grandiose pig okay. and you boop him directly in the snoot he snorts he lets out the biggest yawn you have ever heard the floor shakes a little bit and he leans over towards you towards the desk falling heavily asleep into the thing as the desk shifts forward and he leans on uh, some kind of a lever underneath it the floor moves what do you do defy danger i guess the door the floor is opening did you say or uh it's not opening so much as it's moving down oh probably just like stand there <laughs> okay that sounds good okay right <laughs> Uh, those of you in the casino, uh, there is some shaking going on. Hmm. The the goose that's with you, Mr. Honk, looks a little concerned, but then sort of shrugs. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you right? going to take me to the bar? She says. <laughs> My One God. track mine, I goose. Absolutely! To the bar! Well, this is a, a monster to Honk, from the Honk clan very fancy such good um i don't know whatever geese have breeding but such good breeding mm. upper class goose obviously <laughs> a goose yeah. of style refinement mm -hmm. yes it's true we are the paste of the pate ah yes excellent so those of you who are not flirting with geese or descending in some sort of terrifying office elevator what are you up to are you still hanging out with chickens and having breakfast, Michael? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm probably going for swords by this point. Oh, yeah, you're just scarfing down. This is, like, so far pretty great. Breakfast and a show and the floor is shaking. What could go I, wrong? I know. It's like I'm the center of attention without being the center. I'm like, I'm like a donut hole. <laughs> okay, that sounds good. You're just going to hang out. Yeah, I'll wait for the, the ceiling to fall down or the floor it, to it, like explode or something it very well might you never yeah. know our <laughs> beautiful druid what are you up to um i'm going to fly closer to the action with my bee friends flanking me on either side closer to the action as in the the staff area with the weird stuff going on or the executing oh. goose Probably the uh, executed goose because that's where Meryl is, right? And I told yeah. Meryl that I was going to be a bee so soon, right? That makes sense. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. I thought it was you that I mentioned it to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe I will land near you. Well, they're starting to clean up and collect his, his unfortunate remains. Uh, heading towards the kitchen, it looks like. What are you up to, Miss Cheek? I smell. Bread. Mm. Mm. Freshly baked bread. Mm. Yeah, you're, that bee smells really good. I kind of look I'm like. It's been breaded. I will wreck you. <laughs> <laughs> Can you're I talk to Literally in bee the bee form? from yesterday's sure. game. <laughs> nice. I will actually say that. Okay. The tiny bee threatens you. It's you. Oh, I just wanted to make sure. I just wanted to make sure. You look very beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm interested in that gold cow um, going in that room, so I'm going to just ostentatiously just walk up and want to sing it a victory oh, yes. song. There are two guard pigs, one of them with a sack full of flakes of gold and the other one with like a giant leaf fanning her, and they're both just like... Congratulations on your win. Um... Oh, thank you, thank you, she says, floofing her little curl. Would you like a song sung about you? I, I'm, I'm an a very... Honor, absolutely. I'm just trying to see it's if I such can... an honor, you know, the most dangerous game. I knew I was going to win, of course. I simply had to. Mm, they, you, you see, I win everything. Win. Oh, you win everything. Oh, that's, that's lovely. Oh. 
how can you guarantee to win the uh, most dangerous game? It's... Well, you see? That was weird. It comes naturally to me. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, just trying to see if I might be charming and open. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna begin, kind of, you know, just, just between us. Is this a female cow or is this a male cow? Um, hard to discern. There's something weird going on here. I will, okay. I will give you that as a hint. All right. Not so necessarily on the like, you know, guest gender winter prize kind of weird way, but more that there's something off about this individual. Yes, all right. I'm gonna go up and say, hmm, uh, just, just between us, us friends, and, you know, yes, I'm, I am course. writing, a gonna tell tales of your glory. Um, what do you most desire? Riches? Gold? Luxuries? Hmm. But... There must be something more than that. It's... There's nothing more than sweet, sweet gold. Their, their hair looks a bit different than it did a moment ago. Uh -oh. Curls are going the other direction. What? what what's happening with, with that? Your hair is different. That's the very odd. It's simply extremely stylish. Hi, CJ. You're uh, a bit weird. Oh, stop it, you. You're, um... The pigs um, don't seem to notice. They're just, like, bathing them in, in gold flakes. <laughs> you're, you're, um, accenting your S's. Um, you weren't doing that before. What is happening over here? Oh, with shoot. You? They look like they're like adjusting their mouth a little. Ooh, this is, that is better. This, nah. this, this is better. We're good. We're good. We're all good. Excellent. Yes. Um, what is going on with you? This is fishy. Nothing suspicious. Simply victory. I am going to soak up the soap. So, soak up the luxuries. <laughs> Hmm, you're being suspicious, you know. Oh, stop. It takes one to know one. What do you mean by that? The, the pig staff seem to be like, kind of making weird faces at this point, but this shrug can continue to, to bathe them in gold flakes. <laughs> <laughs> you're not very observant, you know, you kelp. What are you doing in a casino? This person is obviously cheating somehow. I would never do anything of the sort. How could you accuse me of something like, you know, like this? Your, we should speak, perhaps, at the the bar. Sure. Let's go get a drink. Excellent. <laughs> So you wander out of the bar with the fanciest of cows, whose hair is now sort of descending dramatically. It's very nice hair. Mm -hmm. A bit strange, but you know. It is very <laughs> strange. Uh, and the moment you're out of the door, I'm going to lean up next to you. What do you want? Stop it! What are you doing? What is this? What do you think I'm doing? I'm trying to get some money. Well, what are you? My sweetheart, you don't seem. <gasps> I could seem however you want me to seem. My bee friends, are you here for this? Yes, we are. We're gonna. Uh, this is a long. You do and not probably... appear to be being noticed, but you are also observing me uh, from a slightly different direction. Things are visibly changing on this person. It looks like they're they're very they're being very careful um, to to try to manage it so that it's it's not something that's visible to who they're speaking to. But oh, like, can they're I shifting. discern reality? You can absolutely reality? discern reality. Reality. <laughs> Let me see. 
It's a wisdom. Oh, nice. Okay, let's try. Cha. Oh, that's eight plus two is ten. Excellent. Yeah. What do you want to ask? Do you yes, have the list of questions? Ah, uh, yes. Um... What? Hmm. Hmm. What, is, what should I what should I be on the lookout for? Um hmm. What should you be on the lookout for? Well the ground is shaking. That's an obvious one. I won't even count as a point. That's probably bad. Um, but for this particular individual, they could slither away at any time. Oh. I see, I see, I see. Um, okay. Uh, wait, on a 10. So oh my gosh, three. I get three? And remember, you, ah. get a, you have a plus one on taking action based on this information. Holy smokes. Um, okay. What is about to happen? Um, I think that they're about to try to make a deal. Okay. And who's really in control here? Um, Meryl. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. I'm going to, um, this is over to Meryl's ear and whisper what I found. Okay. They're very shifty. Very specifically shifty. Specifically shifty. <laughs> Be careful. So they say to you, as you're you're all now now approaching the the restaurant where basically everyone except for for Freya is, who is now descending into who knows where, and I will get to you in a moment. You're in trouble, big trouble. How could you do this? See me after class. <laughs> uh, so the two of you approach, you know, uh, perhaps a goose on a date, and your your leopardy friend. Are you a leopard? For Michael? Me? Yeah, is leopard or somewhere between a leopard and a house cat? Okay. It a sounds cute. <laughs> uh, but your 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 acquaintance Meryl is showing up with some kind of suspicious cow. Uh, they're gonna say to you, "So what do you want? What are you doing here? Something is going on." Yes. Spit it so, out. Just like something's going on with you. Well, let's just say so what? I'm on a retrieval expedition. Of sorts. Simply sensational. So, I'm assuming you uh, don't want your things known about. Uh, I'm also equally trying to stay. Your, the simple life, no trouble. Yes, under the radar. Um, what is radar? <laughs> Some kind of weird tree, I suppose. You don't want to be taller yes. than the tree you get. No, noticed. you don't okay. want to be taller than the tree. <laughs> Um, you know, it's a, it's a terrible thing. It's it's a bad course. thing. You get noticed when you're taller than the tree. Mm, the radar right, tree right. is very specific. If you're taller right. than that, you get noticed by people. Yes, you want course. to stay under the branch <laughs> of the radar tree. So, uh... Perhaps we can support each other. Exactly what I was thinking. Naive. You, uh, scratch my back, Sneaky? I, uh, scratch your back. You seem like a sneaky person. Um, I have a sneaky friend, but I haven't seen them anywhere. An old individual? Yes. So what do we do now? I think we need to uh, find a way to uh, get off the, the main floor and out of prying eyes and well, see what this casino... Back there. Yes, they're shaking, and um, I have a sneaking suspicion that uh, one of my compatriots is uh, to do this. I have well, a few crazy compatriots. Speaking so of... So there are several of you. Yes, there are a few. Surprising. I'm having so much fun with this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, yes. make your move. And I will meet you there. All right. Gonna 
maybe casually walk up to a Henri Donc and see how so how's this doing conversation going, date? Monsieur Donc? Ah, yes. Well, of course, traveling around is uh, very exhausting, but it's all uh, about fuel. You know, keeping yourself internally fired up for life, you know? It's all about that. So what about you? Where'd you go to school? Oh, well, you know, I went to the, the prestigious Goose Wizard School, of course. But obviously. Who doesn't? We all have to. Uh, I certainly prefer to work somewhere like this, however. It's a much more dangerous and interesting environment. You never know what type of dashing strangers you're going to run into. Exactly. I've been looking for some myself. Have you seen any? <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> oh, me. Uh, yes! Um, hmm. Uh, the, Ms. Her, Ms. her drink is like hovering next to her and getting mixed up a little. <laughs> like she's shaking it. That's a neat trick. How do you do it? Telepathy? Ah, telepathy. So you can read minds! Telekinesis. Ah! I've never been so you can words. read drinks! Yes, I can read drinks. <laughs> well, read my mind. What kind of drink do I want? Oh, something expensive. <laughs> Bartender, she's going to order you something extremely fancy. Hmm. Yes, bartender, put it on my bill. <laughs> the chicken laughs. Of course, sir. Puts the drink on your bill. Pull the straw down. <laughs> Cripes. <laughs> oh, spicy. Oh, it burns! Mm. Your, your date continues. Mm. Are you going to try to sneak off? Are you going to hang out with her? It looks um, like your your compatriot, the one that you can see at any rate, uh, may be wandering off somewhere. You're quite a lovely, lovely bird, really. There's nothing too uh, foul about your intentions, but I have to know one thing, my dear. Hmm? Eyes will flare with internal light. <laughs> what is it that fuels the flames of your desire? Hmm... I like to have fun. Have you ever been involved in a robbery? Yes. You ever been involved don't in a hot here, please. Don't don't try me? that. We'd have to be enemies. You should quit. Come on the road with me. It'll be fun. <sighs> we'll see. I could go for a little bit more excitement. You'd think the executions would always be interesting, but they just do the same thing. It's true. You can only see people die so many times. I mean, look at that cow being covered in gold dust. Well, she did win. Did she, though? Yes. But did she I really? Supervising. Hmm. As far as I'm aware. Hmm. Everyone else quit. It was down to the last two, and that. Well, what do you have to do to win? The noble houses. Hmm? What do you have to do to win? You have to win. It's it's pig poker. How do you play? You you've never played pig pig poker before. She will discuss Dude, the rules. What, it's very similar are the, to poker. Are the pokers hot or are they just metal? That depends on how badly you lose. Hmm. But essentially, the distinction between this and regular poker is that first place gets basically whatever they want. Oh, uh, it's a card place game. Is executed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking you were talking about pig pokers. We play oh, it differently well, we in the West. we talk about that later. It's hard to Do look. You continue to flirt. There we go. I got it. I got it there. <laughs> <laughs> I will All continue right. my date. I will. I would like to make a roll for something. Uh oh. What, what going... maneuver are you maneuvering here? I'm going to maneuver not to walk, not my, knock my water glass over. <laughs> uh, I'm going to parlay. Okay. So you have leverage on someone? Oh, do I have to have that? When do you Some have sort leverage? Of leverage? Oh, hold on. In that case. I mean, I think you have leverage over her. I feel like she's I think like you, into you could. You seem to have some. She does seem to be into you. You're from a noble house of geese. Am I? Okay. A good. fancy flock, if you will. She's mm -hmm. like a horny geese lady, so. Oh. <laughs> He looks downright ready to honk. Oh my god. <laughs> ready to honk? <laughs> ready to honk. <laughs> well. Hmm. Oof. <laughs> I guess, um. 
I guess what I'd like to do is, uh... Hmm. I actually don't know! Um, <laughs> That's fair enough. Uh, I mean, essentially, does, does Henry want to hang out and continue chatting with this person? Or are you going to try to excuse yourself to the washroom and then go off on a cool adventure? Why are you so loyal to this place? It doesn't seem like they treat you well enough. A gooseman should be living in style! Oh, contractual obligations. Oh, where's your contract? Um, I presume locked up somewhere in a vault. Well, let's go get it. That's, okay, I think I would be contractually obligated to disagree. I think that, <laughs> that, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Okay. I don't, I I don't may, know the I wording pause, of your thoughts. Pause the goose flirting for a moment to speak to other people. So one second. But let me know if you're going to wander off somewhere else too. Okay. Okay. So, so Michael, what are you up to? Are you still concentrating on the spell and having breakfast? I'm watching Henri like plunk really hard. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a, it's an experience to to watch. <laughs> this goose is inexplicable in in her attraction, perhaps. <laughs> you don't know how a goose oh, operates, be- though. I'm still working on that egg thing. Yeah, it's it's a big mystery. Uh, the mystery is of the avian brain. <laughs> I will never understand. The answer may disturb you. <laughs> okay. So, Freya. Hello. The room that I... you're in descends deeper and deeper into the earth. I feel like he's like going it's finally. Yeah, you do a little, little, little wiggly wobbly <laughs> weebly tube for him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wiggling your way down and it seems to settle in. Um, and the, the door that you entered from by the time it reaches the bottom has been replaced with what looks like a very large cave. This, oh. is, this is a very sizable entranceway. The, the floor moved down. It didn't take the wall with it. Like you could get a horse-drawn carriage in here if you wanted to. I guess a, a large beetle-drawn carriage in here if you wanted to. The horse that you need might complain. If it was horse drawn, so. um, very powerful union. Uh, this cave is massive and poorly lit. Don't want to discern reality. What's the there's sure, like a yeah. there's like a perception roll you can do. There is. It's discern realities. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> my wisdom is pretty crap, but we'll deal with it. Okay. Oh, not bad. Actually, nine. Nine. Okay. Awesome. So then you're gonna get one. Wait, seven, yeah, one question from that list. Uh, what should I be on the lookout for? Traps. Okay, I guess I'll look for traps. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like a good idea. I'm better at ten. I think I still have another hold from last time I looked for traps. I think you do too, actually, yeah. I don't know if that counts. Uh, is there a trap here and what activates it? Uh, yes. There are several traps uh, in this area. You can see the glint of what looks like trip wires. Uh, it looks like some of the floor tiles here sink into the ground. It could be triggers for all sorts of traps. It's difficult to see too far in here because it's dark, but your fleet eyes do see uh, what looks like glimmering blades of some sort suspended from the ceiling. So there could be all sorts of snip snap friends hanging out at the ceiling waiting to chop you into bits if you trigger a trap down here. Okay. Do I know enough to, like, avoid all the traps and, like, tiptoe around them? I think you probably could, yeah. You'd have to be very, very careful. And if anything you... disturbs you, you may have to devise some danger not to accidentally activate some of them. If something disturbs me. Alright, well, I hope none of them happen. Yeah, um, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna try and get, like, out the door into the cave. I'm trying okay, to go yeah, explore. So... You start wandering into the cave. It is super, super dark in here. Do you have a way of, like, I don't know, producing light? Or are you just going to creep through the dark, trying very hard not to step on a trap? Can I say I'm a fox? Wait, can fox see at night? Can fox see? Mm, I think yes. sort of. Better than us, I believe. But... Oh, foxes are great nighttime predators because their eyes are specially adapted to night vision. Uh, okay. uh, so I will give you essentially the equivalent of, like, D&D dark light vision, so you can kind of see. Okay. Can I see you enough? Not like... a true size, but you, you see enough to move around in here. Okay. Um, I mean, I think I'll go with that then, rather than like light a torch or something. 
Yeah, yeah. I do have it right you, here. you push further into the cabin or into the cavern, deftly dodging all of these dozens of traps, which is also fun to say. Uh, and towards the end of it, you actually see a very, very dull light. It looks like a candle sitting on a, a table, um, and there's a, a sheep moving next to it. As you get close, you can see it looks like there's a pig guard sitting there with a halibird behind him, big old helmet on it, reading a book in the dark almost. Just by candlelight. Do I see like the golden hamster anywhere? Uh, you do not see any golden relics made of ancient dwarf hamsters in the past that you will know when you see. Uh, but there is a massive vault door here at the end. A vault door large enough that you could also get a beetle drawn carriage through, should you wish to. Oh, uh, okay. Is it closed and locked? Uh, it does appear very closed and locked. Okay. Um... <laughs> and there's only two people there? Uh, there is you and there is the one pink guard. Oh, I thought there was a sheep. Sheep? Um, at the table? No? Just the pig guard. Yeah, the pig guard sitting there with a candle reading a book. I mean, maybe now they're a, they're a sheep. I want them to be a sheep now because that sounds really cute to me in like the, the old school medieval helmet with the, the outfit. Yeah. So they're, their wool is kind of poofing out at the collar. So they have this big ruffly collar. <laughs> they, that sounds adorable to me. So now it's a sheep. <laughs> um... Their name is now Earl Sheep. No relation to, to Meryl Sheep. <laughs> <laughs> it's cheap, not sheep. Yes, well, this is sheep, it's not steep. sheep. <laughs> Your next character is going to be named Meryl Sheep. Want to circle <laughs> back to me while I come up with a plan? Yeah, yeah, of course. I was about I to say, I may, I may pop up to you if you time to, to plot this game. You can always go yeah. and acquire your pals. Um, or, or attempt to do something weird with a large sleeping pig. Who knows? So, for those of you who are approaching the mysterious rumble, uh, you, you can basically walk back there undisturbed. The door has been knocked open by a giant terrifying donkey who is now excitedly talking about this like dead goose. Uh, and you can just wander in. The door, where it seemed like the floor was rumbling until a moment ago, uh, is closed. Do you Oops. attempt to open it? Is there like a keyhole that a could fit a bee? No, it's just a door handle. No, it's just a door handle. Sure, let's uh, jiggle yeah, You don't go barreling through, I assume, right? No, I'm just a bird. Okay, good. Excellent, excellent. I mean, conveniently, at least the two of you can fly. <laughs> yeah, so you, you will open the door into a large gaping void. The Whoa, room is gone. This is, this it is, is, the floor hmm. has dropped out below you. Well. Hmm. Hmm. Down? Yeah. Yeah. We can let's both, go. Let's we can fly. <laughs> let's just. I'm way more assertive as a bee. <laughs> <laughs> you got a bee. Aggressive. Bee. 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 Aggressive. Aggressive. Are the two of you singing this? Because that's really cute. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Bee, you you'll hear bee, a, a very small little voice. You are so sweet from next to you. Uh, oh, there is some need... sort of. Um, looks like a hummingbird, maybe? Not the most convincing oh. hummingbird. It looks like someone has described a hummingbird to this hummingbird, and it did its best <laughs> approximation of it. Hmm. Um, they did their next best. To you. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So adorable. So what? what is our plan here? Go down into the void, I guess. See what trouble... Sensationally disastrous. I need mm -hmm. to my gold flakes again after this. But this should be fun. Can I try some? I would love to get showered in gold flakes. I've never done it before, but I feel like it would just totally top my old aesthetic. Oh, I think it would fit in perfectly. Great. Yes, excellent. So the the one and two very small of you uh, will flut your way down to the bottom. Um, it's basically pitch dark down here. Mm. I don't know that you see anything except for a very large sleeping pig. Yeah, sure face planted into a desk, back. snoring loudly. Ah, uh, uh, I, uh, Freya's been here, so she's down here somewhere. That's good to know. <laughs> I've seen her since we got here. Mm. 
Sorry, I, I got distracted. Aggressive. Yeah, so I got distracted seeing if these could see in the dark. That's what apparently I'm like googling for robins. <laughs> apparently there's a species that have evolved to be able to see in the dark, but I don't know if I'm that species. I, I, I don't think so. I will give you the, the ability to see a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. You make a suspicious friend who has, has good great vision in the dark. Mm. So. I mean, I guess I could uh, and shape also as a hummingbird else, settles but... to the ground, they, they are going to turn into a snake. Mm. So, ah. what's so... the true form? This? Sorry, that's difficult to determine. Oh, that's fair. Time to slither. They, they wiggle down towards. Oh god, a whole bunch of traps. Uh, sh oh, yeah, I did not defuse <laughs> any of those traps. You know what? They're not a big snake. We'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> what are you two doing? I think I'm just at hovering. <laughs> Hopefully yeah. there's no air traps to be a... Yeah, I'm buzzing along. I'm just gonna see if I can see Freya, which is gonna be particularly difficult, but that's okay. I don't know yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. You sneak along into the, the spooky, darkened cavern. Catching, I, will, I will give you glimpses of shining metal above you. If you're both above the ground, oh. you're probably okay. okay. I am above um, the ground. There will be a, a sort of a, a, a sound of sliding stone as someone accidentally steps on something. Um, and a oh. giant guillotine style blade is going to swing. <laughs> this is so much fun. Swing out of the ceiling at um, roughly, you know, like regular height above the ground, suddenly in front of you. Um, oh. And there is a very startled snake yelp, but they don't get hit by the guillotine because they're like an inch off the ground they're small this is a... <laughs> <laughs> so that worked out well for them uh, but Freya the, the sheep guard definitely perks up at the sound of a, a giant swinging blade you're gonna and go reaches for a torch and they're, they're gonna light it on the candle in front of them okay what do you do blow the candle <laughs> <laughs> so you just go yeah. Like, I de can I do it before their torch gets to the candle? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, I think the sheep is going to scream. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically, I think the sheep is going to scream, Ghost! <laughs> um, I'll, uh, I'll just spoop them on the stairs. Okay. Yeah, you can spoop them. the last use of my poison. So we'll yeah. See. <laughs> 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 book just slides onto their face. Yes, the close ground is especially advantageous in this situation. Um, and I guess the two of you with a suspicious pal will saunter up to a sleeping sheep in the dark. Freya? Snoring very loudly. Freya, <laughs> the sheep counted you? itself. Oh. Freya's not going to say anything. <laughs> She's the here. Upstairs. She... What are y'all up to upstairs? Yeah. It looks like people are, are getting back to, to their usual casino activities. Uh, one distinctive thing to notice is that this Goots's remains were brought into the direction of the kitchen. Oh my god. CJ, a big cutie. A famous cutie, CJ. That's what you got. <laughs> There's two bunnies here, hey? Did you know? The two for. Mm hmm. Do you two just hanging out and having a chill time? I, I'm thinking on getting up and breaking into their conversation. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm contemplating. Depends how much Henri is going to be horrible at uh, flirting. To be honest, it seems like most of the flirting might be coming from the other goose, mm, and it's a little fair. aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go over and butt in. What do you say? Uh, excuse me, I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. I understand that you're a magician, a wizard, uh, a prestidigitator. <laughs> yes. That's Are you fantastic. Really? Oh, you, you, you've met my friend. <laughs> She's going to look at you. No, you've met my friend already. I know you were a telekinetic path, but I didn't realize that you were a prestidigitator. See? I See? Have this been is known impressive. To digitate once in a while, yes. That's fantastic. Let's have a let's have a little game of it. Do something. 
what? Just just do something. No more specifics. Make me a gift. I'll make <laughs> you a gift. Now that seems like a fun game. What kind of gift are we talking here? Something that expresses our intentions. Oh, that I can do. She's going to sort of look like she's concentrating for a moment. Those of you who are magically attuned, uh, so the two of you will detect the, the scent of brimstone in the air. Uh -huh. uh, definitely definitely some magic going on here. That wasn't um, me. And there is a, a yelp from the kitchen. <laughs> A chicken screaming something about the stove. <laughs> that, that definitely wasn't you me. Think, or do you just wait to see what happens? Uh, I want to wait to see what happens. Okay. Uh, floating out of the kitchen towards you is a red hot frying pan uh, that is sort of changing shape. Okay. Oh. Starting to look more like a fire poker. There are the remains of eggs dripping from it <laughs> that were being cooked at one point. Are you... You're going to poke me? We'll see how how, how good you are. How, how good I am at... Oh! Lighting fires! Pretty good, actually. Watch this. And uh, I'm going <laughs> to reach down and grab my glass. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to squeeze it uh, because I have the ability to break down any man-made thing okay. by melting it. So I'm going to start doing glass blowing with my bare hands. That's pretty damn cool. What do you make? Uh, I'll make a heart. Why not? Oh, that's so Aww. cute. It's like a big bubble heart. You're like... way more wholesome than she is. <laughs> Despite being like a, a pyromaniac goose <laughs> from hell. <laughs> and if you turn it this way, it's a butt. Oh, I love it. She's going to poke it with the, the frying pan poker a little. <laughs> okay. Well, the two of you are doing a great job of distracting one of the management. <laughs> okay. I'm going to snoop back downstairs. What are y'all up to? There's presently, at least, unless something has changed, no sign of Freya, but a sleeping sheep that counted itself. I think Freya's going to be focused on cracking the ball and kind of just like okay. ignoring everybody else. So, do you wish to discern some realities about this vault? Um, well, I can do, so tricks of the trade is pick lock pockets or disable traps. I feel like cracking a vault is like a trick of the trade, yeah? Yeah, I think so. At least for, for some phases of this. Wait, can this I maybe a particularly a hold? complicated impossible bolt. Can I spend a hold first to uh ask, is there a trap here and if so what activates it? Uh oh yeah. <laughs> and it's <laughs> the incorrect combination on the massive dial on the outside of this door. Okay. What the trap um, is is perhaps difficult to discern. But there is definitely something bad that will happen if you mess this up. Uh, well, so one of my holds is I can ask, uh, what does the trap do when activated? Uh, it will probably vent this area with some kind of liquid or gas, you're not sure. Oh, cool. Exciting. Um, <laughs> I mean, I think Freya's kind of dumb, so I think she's just gonna try and, uh, crack the safe. And I guess we'll see how I roll. <laughs> okay, good luck. We all die. <laughs> Do we have any well, dramatic thiefy music we could be playing, Kelly? Oh, yeah, absolutely. One second. Mission Impossible, I think, is like... Dude, or like, uh, I can't do copyrighted 11? stuff. Yeah. But I can't do that, but what that I can feels do... Appropriate. The big poke. Give me one sec. Oh, that was lucky. So I, I rolled both dice, and one of them fell off the table, but the other one was a two, but my Ooh. second dice was a six. Um, so that's ten with my two decks. Okay, amazing. Bling. This takes some serious finagling, and the two of you, the vault seems to be moving on its own. This is very strange. <laughs> Suspicious, says a small snake. Uh... Freya? <laughs> <How's that? laughs> I know uh, it's you. When the snake talks, all you hear is, who dis bitch? <laughs> How's that? Coming from the vault. <laughs> it's help, an ally, similar interests. 
So you are actually successfully able to open the first door of the impossible vault. Ooh. You have to lean up against it. It's the, the classic, massive, old school, western style vault door. It slides open, revealing a second door. This one with two keyholes. Two keyholes. Oh, two can I large see keyhole? keyholes, to be honest. Oh. Like B side? B side? Uh, no, like um, a, a paw sized, like chonky keys, like your, your big old classic oversized vault keys. Okay. But there's two of them. Hmm. You hear some snoring next to you. Yeah, I was gonna say, can we look in there? Can we search yes. the garden? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, you you can totally search him. He, he's asleep, but he does not have a key. Mm. Oh. One of the managers has the keys to that ass upstairs and the flirty goose. One of their <laughs> keys. <laughs> Or that snowball character, so, the guy that you put to sleep in the other room. Says a little snake. So what do we need next? Looks like we need two keys. Big, huge keys. Can the snake like, shape yeah. to any shape or just other animals? Are you asking the snake? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you can ask. Yeah, but I think Freya doesn't know that they shape shift. It's probably true, yeah. Hmm. So we need two keys. Yes. So do we know where they are? Do we have one of them? I don't think so. I don't have any keys. I don't have a keys. I have a staff ID now. I don't know how I got this, but uh, they made me take my picture. But that just won't get to me anywhere. <laughs> the snake's gonna look at the ID. Hmm. So cute. Thank you. Uh, I can't believe you're working here. It was all a cover. It was a ruse, but I'm happy they're paying me. <laughs> yes. But I tend to take the money and run. <laughs> so, you have perhaps a key-related conundrum. What do you yes. do? Yes. Is the keyhole all the way through? No, it does not look like it goes all the okay. way through. Mm. That would be way too cool. <laughs> Meryl Cheap is a glowing queen. Aww. Aww. Does someone want to pay money in the chat to make it go all the way through? <laughs> 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 they could do these things to alter the things. I'm not sure how this works for, for uh, a non-D&D &D thing. There's a bunch of so, alterations that they can do, though. Uh, you can name NPCs for five bucks. You can re-roll dice for five bucks. You can do game suggestions for ten. But for Powered by the Apocalypse, you know, five's probably good. Big game mm -hmm, suggestions sure. are like twenty. That's like big. Like, we're not actually geese, we're actually all aliens. Uh, increase drama <laughs> or spook. $10. Revive an ally or an. <laughs> or, yeah. Seduce or befriend, 25 Special request, 30 Or summon well, pop culture be NPC is 50 going on here. So, at least for the present moment, you will either need to attempt to pick some locks, perhaps two at once, or you will need to acquire some keys. Um, I think Freya's gonna, like, tiptoe back through the traps and go check the big pig boss snowball pocket. He is still zonked, and he does not have a key on him. Disappointing. I know, <laughs> just the worst. <laughs> you want me, to, you want me to, to, buzz, to buzz off and find um, someone else? Go, go find Henry. He's okay. talking to a management. And okay. See if she has anything on her. Yeah, you can buzz right upstairs. Scoot your way up there. Your two bee friends are just sticking with you. They're like your escort now. Nice. You're gonna make sure no other bee bothers you because you're the nice. one bee. You're probably now gonna become a religious figure for bees. You're a queen bee. <laughs> nice. Yeah, move Very your excellent. honey maker. Very excellent. <laughs> Beyonce. So, so sweet. Yeah. Beyonce, yes. Beyonce. That's Beyonce. So sweet. Beyonce. So your, your bee posse will, will fly up with you, um, and it looks like they're they're continuing to have some kind of totally bizarre flirtatious conversation. There's like a red hot poker now hovering in the air. Um, Henry is glass blowing a heart. There's something weird going on. This is weird, but I'm gonna try to ignore it and just this is over to his ear. Be like, just try to see if you can get a key from her. Hey, do you have any keys? I can melt those oh, too. Shit, 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 shit. Um, 
Yes, of course I have, but we shouldn't melt the keys. Hmm. Oh, I can we show you a cool trick them. with them, actually. Here, hold on. Here, hand me the keys. I won't melt them. Oh, I'm going to regret this. What kind of keys do you need? I don't know. Hand me the biggest, coolest one. Don't do anything weird, okay? She will hand you the biggest, coolest key you have ever uh, seen. Oh my god, this is big and cool! Uh, hmm, okay. What's it made of? This is... This is steel? Ah, 40 grade tungsten. That's good. A little bit of carbon fiber mixed in. Good, good, good. Um, alright, so... bemused. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm gonna look for something of metal around here. Like any type of steel or... Um, oh, I got this spoon! How about this oh, spoon? Hand me a couple more spoons! Oh, no. yeah, there's a dessert spoon. There's oh, yeah, a... just, just put it in my hand. A serving spoon. Put it in my hand. Oh, yeah, here you go. And they're just gonna melt into a, like, slag as soon as they go into my hand. What? That doesn't help the spoons. Don't worry. Where we're going, we don't need spoons. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna look at the key. What does that mean? She says, ex <laughs> extremely curious. <laughs> oh, come on, big money, big money, big money. And I'm just going to reforge an identical copy of the key, of that key, mm -hmm. out of the spoon metal. Ta-da! Oh, impressive. Very right? impressive. I mean, it's useless, and I'll just kind of toss it over where a bee can grab it. <laughs> that is very impressive. Isn't it? Now how about I with your... Uh, well, how about maybe we should try again with your bedroom key? Oh, sorry. I think just... we should pull out a different key. <laughs> I'm going to oh, need some more spoons. <laughs> it's got a hotel, a hotel name written on it. You can duplicate oh. this key. My beautiful friend, are you going to attempt to pick up a... A, a large novelty key as a bee? <laughs> uh, we are going to attempt, and if we cannot, um, I'm going to send one of the bees to get more friends. Okay, you may not be able to pick it up on your own, but you could okay. get backup. Yeah, like backup. there's no good way to, to portmanteau this, but I'm trying uh, I'm gonna to be high. I'm going to cast Unseen whole... Servant. Oh, nice. Yeah, that, might, that might dispel the invisibility. I don't care. <laughs> Freya, you're visible. Oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, Look Freya's taking a poop on a guard's head and just. <laughs> yeah, unseen servant sounds good. That'll absolutely love it. I'm gonna keep going. Yeah, I need my spoon back. Where did that go to? <laughs> okay, let's okay. go. So, where do you lead the unseen servant carrying a, a key? We're gonna lead him to the hole. Bring okay. him oh, to the friends. Good. That unseen servant doesn't really leave me, though. It's oh, like okay. under my command at all times. Mm -hmm. but, you uh, may have to follow along then. Or, or we can get B back up. That's yeah, you can get B up. I'm going to pretend that I'm looking for the key mm -hmm. while the unseed servant takes it and hovers it kind of out of sight. Nice. That sounds good. You can better disguise it. Hmm. Okay. You will get some some backup, some B yeah. friends who who will help you. Yeah, I was about to say the B the B team absolutely oh. <laughs> beat me by like a half a second. Chat cripes. Yeah. Uh, but the B team arrives in a little van, very dramatic. Nice. Uh, and they they will assist you with key pushing stealthily yeah. across the the casino. It's pretty easy with, to be a group of bees stealthily pushing a key. Perhaps I don't know. Bees are good at this. Um, <laughs> and you will scoot towards the mysterious office elevator, and you will drop down the elevator shaft with your key. You have one key. Yes. Hopefully. And there's now a Freya here. Probably, probably just like push Actually, it off so that no one gets squished by it, and then we'll small go after note: it. there are now two Freyas here. One oh. of them is like <laughs> playing with an ear. <laughs> so interesting. Oh, <laughs> Freya's gonna go over to herself and just be like, and start like poking their cheek. <laughs> it's sort of wiggly. <laughs> It doesn't really feel like, like a ripple. Cheek. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. This she's she's the very matter. perturbed. She can't think about anything else. She's completely distracted by herself. Oh, um, <laughs> I could be someone else. They're going to try to exactly mirror your movements now. You're getting poked in the cheek whenever you poke them in the cheek. <laughs> I'm going to pet my nose. <laughs> They will pet your nose. Is this lewd? We're <laughs> having lewd a moment. Oh my god. 
So we have one key. We need the other now. Do you think it's the same? Do the keyholes look like they have similar shapes or does it look like different keys? Can I discern reality and ask that question? Again? Sure, yeah, absolutely. Roll for it, unless someone else wants to roll for it. You could be a group. You can group discern reality. Who sure. wants to take the lead role on it? I have whiz too, but I rolled poorly. I have like... wisdom zero. <laughs> I have wisdom zero as well. I'm a not smart part. Okay, I'll take point. Okay. Did you roll? And we'll roll to I it. I did then. not yet. Oh, okay. Do you guys roll first or do I roll first? Uh, I think we rolled the aid first. Oh, okay. I rolled off the desk again. Oh, not good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're rolling plus bond. Oh, I think we have a bond. You know, we do have I'm a bond. We are blood bond, actually. Mm -hmm. We um, so our bond here. You've tasted my blood, and I've tasted your blood. We are bound <laughs> by it. Oh, okay. Where did that come from? Or was this an accidental situation? Uh, uh, I feel like it was something I read in a in a druidic book, and I was like, let's try it. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> Yeah, and now we're, it, yeah, I know what happened. I feel like Freya would go for that, that check. <laughs> <laughs> so, what'd you get on the, the roll I missed it? Uh, six plus bond. What was our bond? One or two? Well, I have one with you. So one. Kay. Unless I'm on your sheet. So I mean, that, that'll put okay. you in, in the middle range regardless. Yeah, sure. So you may discern one question, then you get a plus one on taking action based on those answers based on that answer. Do you know the discern reality questions? I can read them to you if you want. I mean, what here is useful or valuable to me could probably work pretty well or yeah. something like that. Yeah, I, I will allow you to investigate the, the keyholes. You have a bee you can look in very closely. They do appear to be the same key. You might need to shoot two at the same time. You just need but... two of them. Go get another one that looks oh. like that. However, you got this one, because I don't know how you got this key. It looks kind of shiny. It smells like breakfast. It smells like Fre breakfast. We need gonna, another one. Freya's gonna one. grab other Freya and be like, and like kind of like take the key and like smush them together and be like, be this. <laughs> uh, sure. You have two keys. Wow. One of them is wiggly, <laughs> sort of like a, a rubber key. <laughs> Somewhat difficult though. <laughs> Alright, like, we'll do this quick. Like, what? <laughs> go, go, go! Can you do it? Does it work? Freya yeah. will take the wiggly key and stick it in one and like give someone the other key. I'll I imagine take the it's other like one. a like a nuclear bomb switch. Where yeah, it may to, take like, two a moment. You do have to do the nuclear bomb switch where you turn them both at once, but the two yeah. you can get this door open. Revealing dun 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 a third door in the impossible vault. <laughs> this door has a, a large imprint in it in the shape of a pig. <laughs> <laughs> like a whole pig outline? Like a whole pig outline, yeah. Oh, like like a I... hole made for a pig. I'm not strong enough to go get a pig. <laughs> How am I supposed to drag a pig? Or trick a pig? Wait, was that guy that you had put unconscious a pig? <laughs> yeah, does it look like a particular <laughs> pig or like a generic pig? It looks like a particular pig. Okay. I think you, it might be that You did guy knock guy. this particular pig I out. I think you did. The <laughs> say, I think it's that pig. And I, I will say, this is like the only static part of this. I'm like, the three steps for the vault. Okay, there's a combination, there's two keys for management, and then they have to have the pig there at the end. I wonder how they'll get that. <laughs> but the pig's already unconscious. <laughs> we already have the pig. Right. <laughs> nice. Okay. So, I mean, I will say between all of you with a, a small shape shifty pal who's really not that strong, um, you could move the pig who is right. sleeping I'm soundly. Super not um, it will, and I think at this point you're familiar enough with where the traps are that you could direct them around them. Okay. All right, everyone, three, two, one, pull. You thump the pig in with a shudder. Um, the two of you upstairs, the floor is going to creak a little bit. Oh, what the heck's that? Something big is going on downstairs. Uh, the final door of the impossible vaults um, somewhat possibly opens. <laughs> Inside, glimmering gold. You swear you hear angelic trumpets playing when you see it. 
is a golden hamster wheel. Just incredible craftsmanship. Fine and exquisite art of hamsters on the side of it, jogging. It's possibly the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. The shape-shifting friend is going to let, let one tear loose. There's also a whole bunch of gold and money and stuff in here. Uh, but the hamster wheel is just like, you can't look away. It's I need gorgeous. To, to write a song. This must be the ancient artifact of the 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 artificer dwarven hamsters of yore. Screw the goose, all I'm writing about is this now. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? The vault is large enough to get a hamster wheel out of it. It looks like it was specifically constructed for Can a hamster wheel. Can we carry the hamster how, wheel, though? Yeah, how big is it? How would you it's going to be really obvious once we take this out. <laughs> you, you could roll on a hamster wheel. <laughs> it's not, like, mounted. It's just, like, just the wheel. Yeah, it's not mounted. It's just, like, a massive wheel. Okay. So we could just, like, we could get inside it and, like, run it out of there. You absolutely could, could do this, yes. <laughs> If someone were to like produce flames like rockets within the wheel, would that make it spin faster? And go oh you know what? Goodness. Yes, because that sounds sick as heck. <laughs> Come get me. So, what do you do? Wait, wait. Should I get? Should I get everyone together downstairs first? Yeah, we might need a a team effort to get this okay. out. Yeah, I'm Don't working on. Like I'm gonna work on it. I got a plan. I have a cunning plan. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, gonna grab buzz, everyone. I'm gonna buzz my way back up. And buzz I'm your way back ears. up. Um, oh God, you're on top of a giant hill. This was poorly planned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we going fast. <laughs> um, um, Henri, did you see the time? We all, we have our appointment that we're supposed to get to. Hmm. I'm I'm sorry, lady. Um, but my friend and I, we have to go. We we uh, need to vanish really quickly, and I'll cast uh, invisibility on Henri. <laughs> Adorable. Oh. Fine. You have my hotel room key. Just show up when you want to. I will. I'll be there after my shift, which I guess should be starting soon. Ugh, the worst. Oh well, you could just go there right now and play hooky. Oh, we'll see. And then you could play. Someone's got to keep an eye on this place. I feel like I'm the only competent one here sometimes. So you know. Mm, sometimes. She's so good at security. So good. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes even less. So and I'll just wander off invisibly. Did you cast it on both of us? No, just you. I can only cast it on one. And uh, okay. I rolled a four. So. Uh, All right. I'm, I, I'm going to forget that spell. I have to relearn it. Oh, no. Mark XP. <laughs> All right, so I will wander off for the ball. Hmm? It still works, doesn't it? Oh, it works this time, but I can't cast yeah, yeah, it yeah. again until I relearn it. I love wizards in this game. So you're an invisible murder goose? Yep. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. Oh, wait. Say that again. You're an invisible murder goose. <laughs> I'm going to start taking stuff as I go, like a kender in Dragonlance. <laughs> just, like... Switching hats out, putting pipes in my mouth, like just going, 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 going. putting coins There's and tons slot of machines. Loot here. Honestly, people are putting all sorts of stuff on the the game tables and things. Like this is like a a pinata of stealing. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm also gonna just as I go casually like move people's chips around into other people's piles and like make it look like people are stealing from just each absolute, other. Absolutely. Ab some people start yelling at each other. I guess some animals start yelling at each other about cheating and thinking that they're more equal than others. How could they do this? You know how it is. Mm. I, I will take some of the stuff he's looting out of his hand while he's doing it and pass it to my unseen servant to uh, to carry it behind us. That sounds good. Your loot collection grows and you have left a perhaps slightly disappointed goose at, at the bar who I guess needs to start work sometime soon. Who knows how that's going to go. I'm sure it'll be a boring shift. So, walk to the vault. You yeah, meander to, to the giant. How do you get down the giant lowered elevator floor thing? Mm -hmm. I guess you're a goose. That answers that question. How do you? I'm a cat. Down? I land on my feet. Sorry. How far down is that? It's like three stories. Oh, that's oh, only that's three stories. Um, Can we call okay. him back up and like hover him down? 
Oh my god, yes! Nice! Oh. That's amazing. I want this to happen. So the yes. answer is yes, you can get Please. B back up. That's so cute. Nice. Uh, so, assuming you will accept, you know, plan B here, uh, a <laughs> horde of bees would like to gingerly carry you downstairs. I, I will probably be, okay. I will they're, probably be screaming like, yowie, 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 the entire way down, just trying to flail my arm like I'm flying. <laughs> they will still successfully gingerly carry you down into into the spooky, the just, spooky cavern below. They well, that's fantastic. They like, mm. Kind of thing, yeah. that's what they are humming is. softly. They're trying to they're trying to calm you. It's terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you've got a hovercraft. A hovercraft? Ah, that that was it. That was what I was going for. You nailed it on the head. You know what? I like you, bunny. We're gonna go places. In fact, we're gonna go into that room. Point of the so I, I think that you you can be safely directed past the traps that are now fairly well known. Oh, that's the possible vault past the sleeping sheep. Uh, to the that? biggest, most glorious hamster wheel you have ever seen. Oh! Ta-da. Yes, trumpets blare. How do we get this out of here? Just like stealing other loot. <laughs> yeah, there's tons of other loot you can steal here too, but like that hamster wheel is amazing. <laughs> huh. Okay, unseen servant. Let's load up. All right, how do we get out of here? You start looting the vault. That's a good question. I don't know how you're getting out of here. <laughs> Back the way we came. I mean, la- the end? vault is large enough to get the, the giant hamster wheel through, for sure. All right. Are what? there any other ways out besides the elevator that we well, saw on the how way? Did, how sort did the floor go case. down? Can it go up the same way? We could try the, pulling the lever yeah, again. Yeah, probably could, yeah. Was it? What goes up? But then how does it get out the door? Because this was an office room. Yep, that's yeah. a good question. Oh, the door at the top. I think we might be doing some slight renovation. Oh! Yes. Um, uh, hmm. The vault may have come before the casino. I don't know. Renovation. <laughs> you make your own decisions. Yeah. Are we underground right now? Oh, yeah, you're yes. in a cave. Uh. Wait, what's in this cave? traps mostly it sort of just goes to the vault it looks like the vault was just built into the end of the cave well maybe the cave continues past the vault to the other side you don't really know but should we keep going through the cave oh i got a plan i I will go over to the golden hamster wheel and use my prestidigitation cantrip to make it change color so it's just like a normal boring looking metal like it was just a big wheel yeah, this is the most amazing, boring-looking metal you've ever seen, and it looks like there's some magic on it. Oh, that's, but you still uh, can't look away. It's so, it's so amazingly mundane. It's got some rust in this corner. <laughs> but it's glorious rust. I mean, it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. So what do you do? Hmm. It does seem very ready to roll. Like it's just sitting. Yeah, I, I mean, I think Freya's gonna start trying to push it towards the. Uh... Back towards the elevator. Does anyone have a fireball spell? I will say mm. it rolls so smoothly you can't believe it. It's just mm. such funny a story luxury about that. To push the hamster wheel. We're gonna oh. land on the wheel, so as it's rolling, we're just gonna like go with it. Woo. Okay. Are you gonna keep <laughs> it? Gonna keep it going out into the cave? What's the funny story? I can't keep anything going, um, but we're gonna I land do. on it and just go upside down on yeah. a ride. Oh, good. So here's what we're <laughs> yeah. going to do. Let's <laughs> go up <laughs> and. uh you blow up the wall, and then I'll blow it up again. Okay. I like this plan. It's good. I like yeah. this plan, too. <laughs> oh, God, I have a terrible idea. Most of my ideas are terrible. Okay, hang on. Something in chat for, for Kelly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so... So you 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 roll the wheel out. Are you are you walking it? Are you you doing the wheel? Freya, I believe um, you're the one doing the pushing right now. I think Freya's like in the wheel, like running <laughs> all four, okay. like up the. You front. run it out into the hallway full of traps, setting off each and every single yeah. one of them. You the no. fly into the impeccable hamster wheel that looks so mundanely glorious right now, and the blades shatter into nothingness as they touch it. 
Beautiful. It looks like oh. sparkling steel diamond dust is dripping down from the ceiling all around you. It just makes the hamster wheel look even more impressive. You almost want to cry about it. It's just so wonderful. It continues to roll down the hallway and slams into the office, annihilating at least one desk and not even waking up a sleeping giant pig who's not there anymore. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> he's totally just like stuck in a bolt door asleep now. <laughs> you know, we opened the door and it's now against the wall. <laughs> yeah, he's just like <laughs> stuck in there. Uh, and you have thumped it into, into a giant elevator. It comes to a luxuriously perfect stop. It's so nice. Ray's gonna look over at Henri and say, Henri, do the thing. Pull the weather! <laughs> Are all of you in the elevator? Yeah, I'm still on the wheel. Okay. Yeah, there is a giant the obvious lever that was under the desk that got pushed over. You can flip it back the other way and it starts to pull. raise up to casino floor level. Pull the weather, honk! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna melt it off at the base. <laughs> Okay, so you pull the lever and then break it so it cannot be pulled again. Okay, that sounds like a good plan. It's smashing time, boys! This is an extremely loud, extremely obvious maneuver. Uh, as it's approaching towards the top, you will see the door open and a familiar goose's head will poke in. Hello, sort darling! Poke back out. <laughs> <laughs> the door closes. It's probably for the best. Uh, Rummage so your way I... up to the top. <laughs> and it stops. Uh, on ground need... four, everyone out. Blow up the wall. Um, Do we need to blow up the wall? Rocket power. Um, the wall. There is no way to get this out of there with the wall intact in any direction. Well, you again, you good. know what they say fireball activate. <laughs> <laughs> is that what they say? <laughs> I, I just did. <laughs> You're not paying attention? Oh. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Uh, I got 11. I will bow after I got 11, okay. so and I keep this low. Oh, wow. I Millie. explode the door. Uh, it does. Wait, are you exploding the, the door towards oh. the casino? Yeah. It's, oh. and it does, Blasting it, a giant hole into that hallway? Okay. Oh, it did like 11 easy. damage, so. Yeah, that'll blow it up. It's yeah. Dungeon World. 11, 11 points is like pretty solid for a door. Yeah. Kaboom. You annihilate the door and a chunk of the wall. You could definitely slam this hamster wheel in there through the hallway at this point. It's starting to catch fire, and you hear a very dramatic, What was that? shouted from down the hallway. The hamster wheel starts rolling towards the rest of the casino. What do you do? Uh, we will chase after the wheel. Right chase after the wheel. wheel. Freya, are you still in the wheel? I'm, I'm still in the wheel, too. Okay. All right. Oh, what's up, Mr. I Hall? would like to take the rest of the fireball that has not extinguished mm -hmm. and wrap it around us as a sh protective barrier. Ooh. Ooh. So now you have a giant flaming, mundane, but <laughs> supremely attractive hamster wheel. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> It's the so sparkly. That this game generates are just amazing. The, and I'm going I to think... consider, since we're using this as a battering ram, this is a weapon of pure fire. Sure, that sounds good to me. Oh, sorry, pure flame. Mm -hmm. huh. oh, oh, it's like a siege <laughs> weapon. Flaming hamster wheel. On a seven, <laughs> choose one. Oh, hold on, wait. I got a five, seven. Yes. So I choose to remove the dangerous tag. <laughs> you know what? I don't choose. Well, is it dangerous to <laughs> everyone, or is it? You know, I don't choose that. I choose okay. plus one damage. Plus oh one damage gosh. to the flaming oh. hamster wheel. That yes. sounds ideal. You made it. It always away. begins with fiery touch and dangerous. Okay. And each attack consumes one of its three uses. It is sort of made of one giant continuous flaming attack. This is excellent. <laughs> so the flaming murder hamster wheel rampages into the casino, <laughs> annihilating the wall in front of it, crashing its way out of the door that has already been crashed open, except that now it's taking out part of the ceiling as it goes. 
Uh, and it just crushes through the casino. It annihilates the poker table. It annihilates the little stage where there was an execution earlier. It annihilates the front door and annihilates the small stand that's still partially disassembled of the rooster whose uniform you stole earlier. As it begins to accelerate and roll down the hill towards, <gasps> dun dun dun, the peaceful town of River Bottom. <laughs> Oh, oh, no. Giant, oh, no. <laughs> glorious flaming hamster wheel. As it rolls, I, I, I Fred, a very a very important note because I, I want to be an obnoxious person with a GM maneuver here. Uh, a the buffest donkey you have ever seen <laughs> is going to sprint towards you, Terminator like huffing and puffing, and he is going to leap and land directly into the middle of the hamster wheel, and he will Whoa. bray at you menacingly. What do you do? Is the hamster wheel spinning? It it goes down. Yes, it like, is. He's dragging out of now. Yes, I'm, I'm gonna try to warn you. He's spinning wheel hamster wheel going down a hill. That's on fire. Yes. Around the He's kind of on fire now, actually. Now that I think about it. What do you do? He's gonna try to punch you. And how can he stand up? Ah, <laughs> uh, he's very buff. Is he like running? Oh, Can't yeah. you imagine I'm running in the hamster wheel and he's running behind? <laughs> yep, that, that is specifically the case. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> uh, lie flat and hold on and try and go under his feet as the hamster uh, wheel uh, goes uh, uh, <laughs> Okay. Um, gosh, knee. what even is this? This, this is a, this is a defy danger. You're defying danger at this point. Yeah, there you go. Are you doing this dexterously, or are you just holding on for dear life with strength? I think it's probably dex. Like I duck down and try and okay, take him out of the knees. Good. Right? Give it a roll and see what happens here. Uh, nine. Okay. Hmm. Am I gonna be on fire? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> So take a damage. Uh, you will slam into his flaming donkey murder feet on this giant flaming thing, and you get a little bit too close to the terrifying murderous hamster wheel, and your fur starts to catch on fire again. This is giving you flashbacks to only a few hours ago when you lit yourself on fire for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> so take one damage as you start to catch fire, uh, but you will flip directly underneath him, dodging his blow. He snarls in your direction. What are the rest of you doing? Uh, I'd like to make a move to try to sting him. You're going to try to sting him? Okay. Yeah, I want to use my, my B move. I think move. that this is probably a hack and slash. I don't okay. know how much damage B does, but I, I, I would let you do your normal damage because you can just sort of druid this. So you can have, like, nice. the mur most murderous stinger you want. <laughs> let me see. Oh, gosh, it's plus strength. What stats would I want to use for this guy? Oh yeah, there we go. That's what he sounds like. He's a donkey version of this thing. <laughs> yeah, you are out of poison. <laughs> he has, ooh, he has armor. Oh no, I got a six. You got a six. Because it is plus strength, hey? It is plus strength, yeah. Mm, it's okay. It's hard to it's hard to, to assault assault a bee. Um so you are going to mark XP. Okay. Um, and then he is going to try to smack you. Okay. Uh, oh, cripes. You. So he, he doesn't even really know that you're a druid or anything at this point, but you clearly attempted to sting him. He will snarl in his braying donkey voice, buzz off, and smack you for um, 13 damage. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay. Yeah, but you're not squished because you're a weirdly powerful bee. Nice. He seems confused. Um, although once I, because once I once I'm out of hold, I return to my natural form. So That's true. do you wish to return hold. to your natural form? Uh, you probably I, should. Yeah. I don't know. You're getting squished. You yeah. may want to resist squish to go resist poof back squish. into a bunny. Yeah. Zoop. The bees are shocked. How dare you! Storm. No, they still appreciate you. You have flowers in your ears. It's so great. Yeah. You're a bee religious figure now. Okay. So, bee Freya, religious. you've dodged underneath the, the murder donkey. Uh, you've attempted to sting it and gotten squished. What are the rest of you doing? Are you Is just chasing other... this thing, or are all of you I riding think... on it at this point? Running next to it. 
Freya! Behind. <laughs> Flying after it. Freya! Flying after it. Mm -hmm. Use the lead, Freya! People? Use the tumbleweed of destiny! Uh, because I have a bond with Freya that says, Freya, I will teach Freya the true meaning of sacrifice. <laughs> Use the tumbleweed! Let it fulfill its destiny on the wheel! I mean, I don't have the tumbleweed with me. Did you grab it on your way out of the... Did you, you grab it on the way out? It was just sitting by the entrance. Yeah. I'm gonna you run back and get it. it. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Is it or on you could right use now? this, and I'll cast another uh, it fireball. It definitely did just get hit by a giant flaming terror wheel. So yes, the tumbleweed is on fire again. Never so mind. basically That's everything behind the, behind the wheel. <laughs> Oh, well, shit, in that case, um, you need help? <laughs> Freya's gonna be, like, doing loops underneath the donkey going, yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna turn oh, up to 11 again with the donkey. Is there anyone else, any other casino there people that go. are chasing after it? Uh, chasing after it? No. Running away from it? Yes. Well, I'm gonna make, make there are two pig guards in front of it being pursued by a giant right, terrifying I'm but gonna, glorious flaming hamster wheel. I'm gonna attempt to make the donkey go after one of them. You're As gonna serenade all. the flaming hamster wheel, I love Yep. yep. <laughs> it's all fine and dandy. We're just on fire, but it's fine. Don't worry. We're gonna leave them all behind. Yeah, I like it. Okay, what'd you get? I got an eight plus my charisma, which is two, so that's a ten. Okay. It's okay, awesome. Hey. So yes, he let me go find let's go back down. <laughs> On a plus ten, the target attacks their nearest ally in range. So donkey yeah, man which is, for for the donkey man range is definitely in front of the hamster wheel. This guy yeah. is unstoppable. So he's gonna leave okay. Bray alone now. He is like... going to growl while well, Bray. How does a donkey growl? I don't even know what the sounds <laughs> like. He's trying to growl. Like he's like, Bray. Oh, get out of the way! And he will Aww. leap dramatically doing a flip from this flaming hamster wheel, <laughs> slamming into one of the pig guards and throwing him out of the way of the thing. He's gonna turn to the other one and snarl at him. Um, and then I guess they get hit by a giant hamster wheel. So now he's on the outside. I expend a point of my flaming hamster wheel to do damage to him. Okay, you will. How much damage does this do? Just one? Uh, like on top I mean, of the damage the hamster wheel is doing? <laughs> yeah, I think that it's one plus, really. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. So he's got armor, so that is... Do you oh, so it, you may treat your intelligence as your strength or dex in regards to making attacks with this weapon. Ooh, now that is exciting. So, how does this work? <laughs> Bacon pancakes. I think, uh, I think in this so case roll it's plus just... Your, roll plus int. Uh-oh. See what you get. Okay. Actually, oh, never no! mind. It's just, it's just that. Oh, okay. Uh, eight! Hang on. Uh... Damage dice on. What is your usual damage dice? Oh, a D8. Okay, you know what? Just roll that. It's fine. I have to find one. One moment. I was not ready for Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, <laughs> that's a three! Okay, awesome. That will work out to the same number that I bullshitted earlier 10 out of 10. <laughs> so that'll be four with the plus one. Yeah. Cool. Well, that sounds good. Uh, he does not look particularly damaged by that. Like, a little bit. But this guy is just, like, beefy. <sighs> I'd like is to he... try to treat my wounds with poultices and herbs. Okay, you're going to do this while running on a hamster wheel? While hopping yeah, on like a hamster wheel evil. that's on fire? Yes. This Use the great art. Great. Mix it with the red Go one. Go for it. <laughs> I like I thinking know. that you're running in the hamster wheel and every time it? my body comes around, you, like, hop over it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's Sorry, definitely that happening, Brent. I, how do I do that, or do I just expend it? Is it an actual move, or...? Uh, is it something that you're doing from your sheet, or are you just trying to do it generally? Yeah, no, 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 it's, it's part of my gear. I yeah, okay, so let's expend it. You, you and pop it in I your will mouth say that you can start it applying the poultices while sprinting on a flaming hamster wheel. Nice. Descending in, in, inevitably towards the doom of poor river bottom. Could I try to defy danger to, like... 
bash into the wheels and set it off on a different course and just straight You are going to attempt to redirect the wheel. That is a big old defy danger. I wish you luck with this one. Give it a okay. go. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. Snake oh, eyes. no. Oh, yes. I rolled two ones to start. No, Snake Eyes. Um... <laughs> Nice to know you, Meryl. Yeah, come on, guys. All right. You got right. two ones, you said. Yeah, I, uh, uh, why can I add my strength with negative one? Let's do, can I do some X and give it a three? Well, a three? I would like you to mark XP. <laughs> the danger here is that you're getting nailed with a giant flaming hamster wheel that does plus one damage. Yep. <laughs> Take two damage. <laughs> Uh, but it is going to run you over yeah. and continue barreling towards town. Ow, 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 ow. You're a little singed. Uh. <laughs> that did not work, guys. Okay. So, I mean, I guess at this point the donkey is no longer on the wheel and is pummeling a pig. Uh, it is barreling towards town, lighting the ground on fire as it goes. Uh, what are you, what are y'all doing? I'm gonna yell at the town, MOVE THE TOWN! <laughs> <laughs> We're not changing direction! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, there's a river in the way. We invented a river in the way. So we'll, oh, we'll see how this goes. Aim for the river! Aim for the river! Aim for the river! Can you can try to steer it to those of you who yeah, are on it. Try to steer it? Yeah. Yeah. Do we want to... Defy danger, and one of us can assist. Yeah, sure. let's see. Defy danger. I don't think I'm particularly good at that. Yeah, uh, I, I, I have two decks, so I can do that if you want to assist. Yeah, I would love to. Oh yeah, I see. By getting under the oh, I see. You can do it up different ways. Yeah, yeah. It would be yeah. by getting under the. It depends way on on the situation, what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll assist. Yeah. Okay, give her a go. <laughs> Wait, do, do I, when I resist, do I roll first and then we... Yeah, you go first. Oh, oh okay. Let me find out it. if I get plus one. <laughs> uh, we find out if you get squished by a giant flaming hamster wheel. Love to crush friends with a hamster wheel. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> uh, well, I got a six and a five, and then it's a plus one, so I got twelve. Ooh, you okay, you absolutely get assistance. You have very competent and capable assistance. <laughs> the quick thinking with the bees. Oh, and I got a... Like, I got 11 plus 2, 13 plus whatever assistance. Wow! We can hear the shit out of this hamster wheel. <laughs> Heck yeah! Hey, that sounds Wait, excellent. Wait, can we do like... Excellent. The thing is, we got so good. Can we do like a motorcycle, like skid stop with the hamster wheel? <laughs> where do you want it to stop? Uh, where are we trying to deliver oh. it to? Oh. Can we come out of a oh, well? Can we get into I, a well? I guess a well? I don't know that this thing would fit in the well. Oh, we can make like, it skid fit. stop right before the well. <laughs> no, I will open the front door just like the other one. <laughs> so you're, wait, hang on. So is the plan to get it to land perfectly in the middle of town at this well? Of the two wells? Yes. Yeah. I think just like skid up next to the okay. well. And what did you get on the roll again? Me? Yeah. With aid 14. That sounds sick as hell. And <laughs> speaking of, this maneuver is going to be sick as hell. So the hamster wheel plummets down the hill, screaming civilian farm animals uh, and casino employees and guests are running in all directions around it. The hill catches fire as you go down and you approach the river. You aim it perfectly, finding a little a little rocky point you can jump off of. And you jump the river with this flaming hamster wheel. Perhaps a shark somewhere in there too, who knows? The shark looks mad, he's like, rawr. <laughs> Landing on the other side of it, crash through town. Uh, you managed to, to definitely dodge crushing anyone's homes, which is quite impressive. You're now maneuvering a flaming murder hamster wheel through streets, and you bring it to a perfect skidding stop directly next to a well. A well that doesn't have water in it, that instead has mice in it. Uh, can I it's not still on the... fire. <laughs> <laughs> you just need it cooler. We should yeah, put it quite, quite a few locals sort of like stick the, stick their faces out of their, their windows and then just 
look back and forth and close their shutters again. <laughs> Wait, you don't you don't want any fire? No. Oh. <laughs> uh, Freya's gonna like knock on the side of the well and say, "Hello, is someone here to sign for a package?" I am. <laughs> Oh, uh, Jasper, the, the well... you should change it back to the normal color. <laughs> the well will rumble oh, a yeah, little bit, point. and uh, a, a mousy head will will pop up wearing shiny <laughs> fucking Swiss guards. I forgot that. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, pull Swiss the guard off. armor. <laughs> little mousy ears pop up over the top. Oh, that was so wonderfully quick. Yes, you, poison you like a is a motivator or something. <laughs> um, just leave it there. We we can get to it. Hang on one moment goes back down. A whole bunch more mice pop up uh, and they sort of shuffle it off into a building. It's a little <laughs> warehouse thing next door. It's This is still on fire. They may have to put it out. <laughs> I'll pull the fire off. Okay, that sounds good. Is the donkey guys going to come this way? Uh, is the donkey? Yeah. Um, I believe he's just sort of annihilating various casino employees at this point. Okay, cool. As long as he's doing his job. <laughs> <laughs> yes, clearly the lapse of security. Terrible, absolute, absolute crime all around. Pure mayhem. Uh, so somehow y'all, y'all will will get away with this moment at least, and and I assume assemble into the the elevator to go down below. Oh, this game has a lot of weird elevators in the middle of places in it. Right. Like we're all standing in the elevator, like some of us a little bit on fire still, with like kind of smoke coming. Yeah, yeah I feel like we're all just weird that you you were singed. You had enough control yeah. of the hamster wheel that I was like, you're not going to take damage over time with this. You can just strategically roll. Is anyone on fire? That's what they say. You gotta you gotta stop and roll. Are any of you on fire? Yes, Miss Gooseman got her excitement. I, I think Fran's on fire a little bit. I'm gonna take it. Zoop. Free I'm fire. In, I'm gonna put it in my mouth. Cool. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> that just happened. Like a singed fox. Freya's gonna be like, hey, You're I delicious. need a bat. <laughs> Do you want it back? So yeah. Ridiculous. <laughs> I'll burp it back up and hand it over. <laughs> there you go. My ear is now on like fire. I'm a little bit singed. Yeah. You know what? I have, it's your life, your choice. I appreciate you. <laughs> Freya? Did you learn the meaning of sacrifice? She's gonna like slowly be like catching more on fire and be like, ah. <laughs> Where's your tumbleweed? Uh, as, you're, as you're going down in the elevator having this conversation, there are two mice in there with you. One of them is going with like a little flute. Do, 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 so you get elevator music. Um, the other one is gonna offer you a bucket if you want it, Freya. <laughs> No, she doesn't want it. <laughs> okay, you can just be on fire. You will she start taking damage with her from lawyer. This. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, are you specifically attempting to burn to death? I mean, is it really death when your lawyer is just going to sort it out? <laughs> it depends on, uh, on how well he sorts it out. <laughs> okay. uh, your companion seems to be consciously burning to death. I'm sure that's fine. Uh, and you oh. you meander down the elevator into the the cheese laboratory. It smells so good down here. You, you were ushered through hmm. uh, to the same the same hallway. It smells a little bit crispy in here at the moment, um, with the same luxurious purple but singed curtain at the back. One of the mouse guards will will pull the curtain back, and now on the most glorious hamster wheel you have ever seen, is the professor running still forever. <laughs> oh my goodness! Excellent! This is the coolest thing I have ever seen. I'm so glad I poisoned you. Antidote, yeah. please. Uh, yeah. About that. Um, Oh, shoot. I was going to do the, the cheesy. Oh, there's only one antidote. One of you has to survive and the rest of you will die thing. But I, I did make enough antidote. It's fine. Just just go talk to the to the Swiss guard. They'll give you some pleasure doing business with you. Uh, yeah, no problem slurp, at all. Slurp. Hopefully, hopefully you got some more some more loot or something for it. You know oh, yeah, plenty. Goes. Okay. Are you okay, um, Miss Firefox? Slurp. It's going to be like more on fire and she'll be like... <laughs> okay. Extremely disturbing individuals. I am terrified to know each and every one of you. Um, don't don't forget to stop at the gift shop on your way out. We have. I was going to ask if you had a T-shirt. 
Yes, we do. Uh, and the, the mice should give you give you the antidote. Hmm. They will indeed give you little tea antidotes. They By the way, if you're looking good. for a good person for security, I highly suggest hiring Miss Gooseman. I think she'll be looking for employment soon. Good to know. Mm. My letter of recommendation. Jog, 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 jog. Checks her Fitbit again. So many steps. Jog, 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 jog. <laughs> so what do you do? You've been given the antidote. You're in the middle of a, 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 a spooky, weird laboratory. I guess the question is, are you going to do anything horrible? Or are you just all planning to go on about your lives? <sighs> and or your very brief remaining life for those of you who is on fire. <laughs> Look, I don't want to denigrate your choice here because I totally respect you having your own limitations and freedoms, but what's your end game? I guess I'm just curious. Uh, Freya will just, like, look at the antidote and just, like, toss it on the ground. <laughs> her, her dose of the antidote. <laughs> I mean, I can speed it up if you want. Oh. This hurts. <laughs> well, fair enough. Um, let's see. How did that one guy do it? Oh yeah. It's not my fingers. Do I go up in flames? I, you know what? Sure. You will go up in flames. Her... You saw that she consented. Consent counts. <laughs> The extremely disturbed mice who are, are now attempting to sell you knickknacks um, agree. Mm -hmm. They're that not really sure horrifying. what to do about this, but that's horrifying. However, <laughs> have you considered a fine cheese? It'll make all of your loved ones extremely happy if you come home this holiday season with the finest cheese in the land, fresh from the cheese laboratory. You know, after being poisoned via cheese, uh, We're in. I think I'm done. What? Oh. <laughs> it's, it's cheese. Oh. I'm lactose intolerant. <gasps> They're shocked and appalled. How well, that means you? the goat cheese will be fine. Yeah, the goat cheese is fine. You can have goat cheese, but it's still alarming. How dare you? Can I grab one of the mice and eat it? No, they will okay. attempt to resist, and they actually have really good stats. They're all knights. <laughs> oh, fine. You can try you, if you want to try to eat a mouse, but they will not allow you to eat them. They're that, a very no, tight-knit group. That's I think fine. That, I think I'll just get the t-shirt. For now. Okay. Yeah. The t shirt's very stylish. It comes in all sorts of sizes. Fits a little bit tight, but you know, that's mice for you. Um, hey, friends. Do you want to take the last breath action? Yeah, right there. Sure. Oh, thank you. It looks nice. Where were you the whole time? M me? Yeah. I didn't I... see you this entire time. Why did you get an antidote? <laughs> I, I was a bee. I whispered in your ear. That's oh. all a hamster wheel, and all I got was a t-shirt. You know what? They will give you a t-shirt that says that, if what? you want it. Oh, you guys got a printing press in the back? You rolled a three? Hopefully I have a good lawyer. <laughs> Cripes. Okay. <laughs> Um, so for, for those of you who, who are hanging out in this gift shop, um, this will make no sense to any of you, except that I suppose it'll make sense to Freya. Uh, the floor is going to crack open a little bit, and, and a skeletal hand will pop out of it, followed by a second skeletal hand, and an extremely nasal voice will say, Really? Really? What are you doing? Do you know how hard I had to fight to get you put out here? Oh my goodness, cannot believe you would do this. Uh, and lumbering out of the floor is a skeletal mink with a glowing green lantern attached to its tail. <laughs> I, Hello, I need... um, Arlen Mink, spooky, spook, spooky mink. Uh, Arlen Fink, sorry, spooky mink. Attorney of death, how can I, how can I be a service? Freya, you imbecile. <sighs> He's going to sort of like muscle, muster at your, your charred remains and pull your ghost out to yell at you. What do you have to say for yourself? Uh, oh, I thought I was that? supposed to go somewhere else after this. I can't really remember. Everything's getting a little bit fuzzy. You even read the paperwork, did you? Oh my gosh, so can you believe this? He's just sort of going to look at the, the four of you with like terrifying dead eyes. I can't believe it. <sighs> just ridiculous. 
Okay, Missy, you come with me. We need to go talk to the ugh, the other attorneys. Your prosecution's going to be so upset with this. You're going to have to go back to court again. Okay, the four of you, he's going to hand you each a little business card that says Arlen Fink, Spooky Mink, Attorney at Death. Uh, if you oh, have thank anything, you. Feel, feel free to, to give me a ring. Just, you know, bell three times. The usual thing in a bathroom. Uh, anyways, toodles. And he will grab your ghost and drag you into the floor. Bye. Which then that, closes up. That just happened. Oh, right. Bye. Well, I, I'm going to go to the pub and get a saucer of milk. That sounds good. And you will all, four of you, go on about with your totally regular lives. This was a mess. Thank you very much for joining me on this absolutely bizarre adventure. I hope that you had fun. Did you guys have a good time? It was glorious. It was glorious! That was a mess. I am so, so impressed with the costumes that all of you are wearing. Oh. I feel like if I do another Animal Adventures game, I'm going to need to actually have ears instead of my fake ears. But it's true. Uh, one thing that I, I have been meaning to do this whole time that I keep forgetting to do is to be the moon. So I think I'm going to be the moon. <laughs> oh, no. the moon just, just so that you, you get you get the full moon experience. My but yeah, goodness. thank you. Did we get the moral of the story? For joining. The yeah, moral the of the story, story here is that if you're a dimension traveling fox, don't, don't catch on fire on purpose and if you're not a dimension traveling fox you should definitely steal a extremely majestic um hamster wheel because then you get a t-shirt that says i stole a hamster wheel and i and all i got was this shirt and also you don't get poisoned to death and you maybe make friends with mice it's great <laughs> and let that be a lesson to you Eppies. never steal or always steal friends with ah, same thing really if you steal do hearts. a little bit too much do i have hearts is it steel hearts? Steel hearts, yes, uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm, can I Directly do sparkles? out of there we cages. Go. Now I got sparkles. I'm back to like normal me without bunny ears. Hello. Hi. I have these. Hello. On my face now. This is my life now. Well, that was an experience. Thank you very much for joining me. I guess we we should we should prepare for the, the intermission. Do any of you have any last words or any thoughts or things you want to share? I think it was really fun. impressive that we didn't kill anyone. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I really yeah. did not know where you were going to go with this game. I mean, so for something like this, I, I do the, the preparation where it's like, when I, the shapeshifter was going to do more stuff at the end too, but then I figured we didn't have that much time. But they were a real sweetheart. They did make a friend. They just stole a whole bunch of things. Uh, but really, like, I, I just invented a bunch of NPCs and I figured you would you would go where you would go. This, this was a journey. <laughs> Thank you for taking me with you on it. So yeah. And so this is a, a game that uses the Powered by the Apocalypse engine. So if mm -hmm. you haven't heard of it before, it's a fantastic little engine that runs with very, very little muss or fuss and is very player focused. So yeah. I find that it's very difficult to switch into running this type of game from like running other games, like as the dungeon master, storyteller, whatever. But mm. it's so much more relaxing once you get the rhythm. Yeah, and I think it can be quite a lot of fun, especially to start a day like this with, because this is such a, like, I mean, that, that's one of the reasons that I was excited to be the first game today, is that it's like, yeah, why don't we just hang out and, and invent some weird stuff as we go, and maybe end another world, we'll see what happens. And if you uh, notice, we'll Millie said to yes to just out. about everything that we suggested, too, which is mm -hmm. always yeah. a lot of fun. And the costumes are, like, amazing. Yeah, so it's so fun. much fun. So much fun. I smell like Robert. Yeah. Chad is right. All of you were fantastic. This was a great time. Um, and then I suppose we should begin begin intermissions. I will miss uh, you, but I'm going to moon you again on the way out. So. Uh, oh! oh. oh. All right. Hey, so everybody who's watching Extra Life right now, we're going to be right back with some Among Us. But first, I'm going to take you over and do a quick raffle real quick because uh, I've saved quick a lot. All right, so I'm going to hop over to that real quick. So, hey, guys, thank you so much for playing. You're going to still be audible, I think, but uh, we're going to go over to the screen.